Oh, come. Dig it. Right. One, two, you know what to do. Down at the bees, you deep where you found. Two times nightly and matinee. Well, the mom is famous, you hear. He comes on strong when the ladies are near. And he's got class and he's got clout. Come on, mama, we stand better now. For the show, where they gon' shoot from the hill. I say two times for the host. Give us a moment to sip. It's not for the faint at heart, cause they caught it like they see it. Give me a gunshot for the truth. Not always want it, but need it. Tune in weekly to get some game from the Montoyas and Reese. Good for perspective, some commentary and a word from the street. Add some humor, some music talking. We done had our fun, but the show is never complete without mentioning black.com. Shout out to all the supporters, people who keep this afloat. Patiently waiting for that new show notification to post. If this your first time listening, take this move and just sit slow and consider this your welcome to the Shoot from the Hill show. And why the time my damage, dog? Hey, I can't get past that video, man. Why? Dog, that's a throwback right there. Yeah, it is a throwback. I feel like we should have that as part of our show. Really? Yeah, something like that. All right, well. Where everybody got their own little little line well, in the song. Nigga, you know how hard it is for us to write these rap lyrics? And you ain't lying, dog. <laughs> that should take forever, man. But uh, welcome to the Shoot From The Hip show with your boy Montoya's and The Reese. Shoot From The Hip.xyz is the home base with a beautiful donate button. And some of y'all done found that joker, man. I sure appreciate it. Me too. We sure appreciate it. Uh, shoot from the hip one at gmail.com. That's the they, uh, I was gonna say voice, man. Email line and uh, 559-825-7468. That's 559-825 shot. That's how you call it and get it off your chest, man. We had a couple of them do it this week. Appreciate y'all. We're gonna get to it, but anyway, man, <laughs> I wish y'all could see what I'm seeing. <laughs> Take a picture right man. now. I might, though. I'm recording right now. I'm using the phone. It's though. all good. I get it. Oh, man. This is hilarious. Hey, uh, we over here doing a show at the new studio at the Reese crib. And uh, he got the three amigos out there getting busy. <laughs> no. In the rain. That foursome. It's a foursome. It's a fourth one out there? Yeah, like the... Uh, like, like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I feel, I feel like we're looking down our nose at them right now. Chilling in the in the AC. I ain't, I'm not. That is home team doing. Oh, that. I feel so guilty, man. Surv- survivor's remorse right now going on. I feel like you got a joke that might make it worse. I do, man. And uh, here it go. Oh, oh, y'all gonna like this one. All right, man. Why did the blood sell all of his Bitcoin? I don't know. Cause it was cryptocurrency. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, man. So woo. Hey, I'm gonna stay away from that. <laughs> you been had them bloods on our ass, dog. <laughs> Come on, man. They know we ain't blood and cripping around here, man. Come on. Hey, you know. However, it's the shoot from the hip show. We back again with our so weekly woo. hotness fuckery, uh, talking humor and news with common sense and all of that kind of motherfucker. Yeah, you, shit. you all you got to kind of a roundabout way. Yeah. Yeah, I knew what you mean. I saw where you was going. Yeah. I was picking up what you're throwing down. All right, man. Well, I appreciate that. Yes, sir. All right, we back. Uh, anyway, uh, your boy's back. <laughs> we appreciate all, all right, love man? Get. Man, I've been having a rough go long. You hey, know that. Hey, man. Yeah. yeah. Hey, y'all. Reese didn't want to sit down because if, if he sat down, he wasn't going to be able to stand back up, man. Uh, that is true. That and is that's true. hilarious, watching his head spin. Man, that's because I cook. I cook before we start the show, man. When I cook... When I barbecue, it kind of wears your boy out, man. I get tired. Yeah. 
I understand. Yeah, so I was like, That's why man. I drink when I do it. I'm like, man, just let me smoke. I, I, I smoked on half a, about a third of a stogie. Yeah. And uh, I had to get out here. But I'm finna try and amp myself up and stretch it out. There get you ready. Get you some of that pre-workout. And man, while you playing, nigga, t- speaking of pre-workout, I had went to the gym the other day. And uh, did, did that proper English? I had went. Anyway, I went to the gym the other day. And I usually do my pre-workout. Uh-huh. My steroids is what you and Flurley on yeah, call that, it. That old, that juice. Yeah, that juice. It's serum. So I left it in the truck. And uh, I, I was waiting on this guy. I bought these shirts from this guy, uh, from a friend of a friend. On Some you. workout shirts? No, they these were Astro shirts. Oh, and it okay. says, uh, y- y'all still mad. About the, uh, the, Ruben? the cheating scandal thing. Oh, 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 the Astros thing. Astros shirts. So, okay, all right, I got uh, you. I'm going to wear one. I'm going to the Yankees. It's going to have the Astros logo? The Astros, yeah, Astros Yankees game on uh, July the 9th. Okay, all right. So you're going to troll troll the fans with that? If I make TV, I will. So uh, the Yankees coming here, you going to New York? No, nah, they coming here. Okay. Now, nah, uh, these were gifted to us by Jim Crane. Okay, yeah. shout out. Yeah. That's good stuff right there. Had opportunity to be in his presence, and he uh, showed me some love. That right? Yeah. Did you hog the room up a little bit? No, no. I ain't do that. I don't believe you. I ain't do that. Your face says otherwise. It's just not true. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't me. Uh huh. All right. Uh, anyway, so uh, yes, it's raining today. Uh, coming to you live from Atlantis. If you check out Instagram story or picture, I post. He almost fell. <laughs> a pinch, a pinch. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you going to hell, boy? Uh, skipping them lost the game, uh, rightfully so because the other team, or the the parents are just too intent. They had whole families on the field. This dude had to set up like this camera right here with a tripod with his iPhone. Just oh, he's ignorant. coaching. Oh, he's ignorant, man. Oh man, they gotta go have film day the next day. Yeah, I mean he's yeah. ignorant, man. He's clearly trying to make up for what he failed on in life. Well, you know that's what most of them overzealous parents do. Oh, it was they live vicariously doing shit they yeah, wish they could have oh, done. Don't do it. Let us know. Oh, uh, uh, let us know. Well, we can switch it up now. I'm like, I just okay. Maintain okay. my ba- composure. Based off that that impression you just did, that's a black dude. It, yes, <laughs> and I, I just did he not show hate niggas. But <laughs> <laughs> I did not. I did not want to make the news, man. You know, because you see these guys getting these fights at these. I'm just gonna chill out and get. You know, oh. So anyway, uh, yeah, that happened, man. So I hope you don't look forward to the boy getting any sports, cause, well, I mean, he gonna do something, man. I mean, I play t ball, and at the least do that. Shit, I'm trying to get. Go ahead. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, you know, I played t ball, and then I did, and it was a big, big lull in my athletic history, except for like playing outside. Yeah. So I didn't play no organized sports for years after that. I must have been in uh, about fifth grade, maybe fifth or sixth grade when I. Nigga. Just say it, well, dog. I want to drop this motherfucker. <laughs> so you want me to touch it? I, it would be. It would be. Was it apropos? Apropos for you to drop it. Not that's me. correct. Anyway, man, I didn't play organized sports consistently until I got to high school. Mm-hmm. So I mean, I, don't rush it. What you mean? Rush oh. the kids in sports and shit. Yeah. Well. You know? Ain't my choice, but anyway, yeah, he, well, I hear that. He, it, it was a joy to watch him get better throughout the season. Yeah, yeah. So you know, I don't know, dog. Maybe if had I been consistently in it, and you supposed oh, to do that man. in the mic. God damn it! <laughs> Producing on the fly, y'all. That's what we doing. Okay, I see if I can do something with that. Yeah, I, oh. bet, I bet you will. Oh. As we pull up a new ah. bottle of Jefferson's Reserve Bourbon Whiskey. Ah, yes. Oh man. The opulence in this bottle. Love it. I can dig it. <laughs> All right. And we back. And we back with some live basin. Beautiful whiskey here. I've had it before. Been a minute though. God damn, I need to find somewhere to sit in my drink. <sighs> yeah, Boy, we need you closer and I got the laptop. I got the laptop in my lap. Yeah. Well. It's all good. We'll yeah, we figured it out, man. We just winging it. Yeah, I uh, also went to the gun range the other day. Oh, yeah? Would you shoot the bull pup? I did not. I did not. Uh, <laughs> but I did shoot. Um, I had three 9 millimeter guns that I hadn't shot yet. Three? Yeah. 
What about the other 20? <laughs> <laughs> I only got like 12, 11. Only. Jump. My bad. I'm yeah. a brag ass nigga. Well, I'm just so saying. how did you do with them? Uh, okay. So I, I bought, I, I, I have a lot of, I have a few Glocks. I ain't say a lot, but I have a few Glocks. Uh-huh. So I had a 43X. Now the 43 was a six round okay. compact, but they came out with the 43X, which is a 10 round compact. Mm. So I shot that. And then I shot uh, my uh, Springfield Hellcat. Oh, the Hellcat. Yeah, which is yeah. A, a compact 13 round. Did you give a Hellcat? I did my thing. All right. Put All 200 right. rounds through the three of them. Did I? Uh, at the end, yeah. I was kind of trying to you work honed it on. on in? Yeah, 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 yeah. So I did that. And then I shot my uh, Glock 48. And the Glock okay. 48 is a slender version, uh, 10 round, uh, longer barrel of the 43X. Okay. So my mother in law was like, It's crazy. I hit the other day and uh she's like, I need me a gun. What you think I need? Oh, I boy. said, Well, I tell you what, I'll get some of my hands. Hold my beer. <laughs> <laughs> but don't change, nigga. Yeah, okay, man. Get it. Oh shit. God damn it. Man. She's gonna force it. Doing the joke pass, you don't force the joke, well, man. I was waiting. Trying to do some comedy over here. Okay, well, that's part of it. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So I, I I put I gave I put all my nine millimeters and three eighties in her hand to see which one she liked the most, okay. and she liked how the forty three X felt in her hand. Now I will say when I shot the forty three X, the I, I didn't like the trigger. It's real small. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we need extra cameras in this bitch. Uh, it's it, it, it's it's I don't like the trigger on the forty three X, but uh that that. I'm, I, she can have that. I'm, I'm gonna give it to her. Okay. I told her, you know, uh, I'm, well, I'm selling it to her because it wasn't free. So. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah. So can't do it on the strength or on the love. Got to yeah. get something back, nigga. Look at you. I'm just saying, B. She said she gonna pay me for it. I mean, right, I've done a lot for my mother-in-law. Oh, okay. So she, she owe you. I don't think she owe me, but I'm gonna give her a gun. She ain't got to do nothing. I'm gonna do the bill of sale and just sign the paperwork over. And it's oh. gonna be hers. Okay. You gonna make it official? Well, it's gonna be official. Because if she go out and catch a body, you don't want it in your name. Right. She, I have I this thing you. saying it's hers. Yeah, so she get out there hugging the block. <laughs> in the mo. You don't want no problems with that. No. <laughs> so uh yeah. so yeah, I'm I I just told her I'm gonna give it to you as soon as I put some rounds through it, make sure it's solid and everything. I mean, it rarely happens where you get a gun out the box and it's ruined. And cause you can't take it back to the store, you gotta send it to the manufacturer. Mm. And I didn't want to go through that. And they made in Germany, huh? Nigga, I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I thought, I thought they were. They always say that, but there's always some sub manufacturer here. That, okay, you know, I don't know who knows, but I don't know. You ought to know. <laughs> oh, gun nut. But yeah, so I uh, had a good time doing that. Now my boy that I went with, you went. I think you met him before. He went to Elkins. Uh, he had he brought his Draco. Oh, yeah. Okay, got some, got some of that some act. real rap shit. Yeah. Nigga. <laughs> oh. Nigga, that bitch is live. Draco. Doom, doom, doom. Yeah. Yeah. Dog. All right. Hey, man, that motherfucker was the truth. Okay. But uh, anyway, man, that's You wasn't I... overcompensating for nothing, huh? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. Uh, That's that's all I got. That's all I've been up to. I don't know what else you've been up to, home too. Oh, man, just watching the progress of the house, man. It looked like we're going to be out of here for another few months. You God, I was just telling my wife that you've been out of your house for about three. Or, I think the BYT, and he he said he didn't even know. He said I just talked to him the other day. He didn't not too long ago anyway. Yeah, and yeah. he said I think he called you about a uh, about some air a thermostat thing. Yeah, and he yeah, said you ain't mentioned, thing. you ain't mentioned you ain't live over there no more. All right, well I mean it ain't that I don't live over there anymore. It's just that I'm temporarily displaced. Okay, you understand? I do. So uh, yeah, that's the main thing, dog. Logging a lot of hours in the garage and all that. I got to come by there. I got to invade that. You got to see that, man. Yeah? You sound like, proud of it. I, I am. It wasn't nothing happening in that garage till I got in there. That was a storage spot till I got in there. Till you got in there and smelled it up with cigar hey, smoke. Hey, man, that, that bad boy's a hangout now. Nah. All right, nigga. It's what? something like this here. Okay. Something like it. All right. Well, nigga, with, with a lot less furniture and creature comforts and, and the restroom and Windows and the view and the view. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but everything else is the same. All right. Yeah. Uh, five five nine eight two five seven four six eight five five nine eight two five shot. We're gonna attempt to get a guest on here, and uh, we'll be right back. Bang! 
All right, and we back. All right. uh, talking news, kind of truth from the hip stuff. Uh, the NBA playoffs uh, are getting ready to start. Uh, Apparently, LeBron James viol- violated it. Uh, pro- uh, some kind of way. Yeah. He should be in protocol. Yeah, how about that? Well, you sit out seven to ten days, but apparently... He's not going to get that. Yeah, Barkley said That's the King NBA... James. Yeah, they scared of LeBron. They wouldn't dare do that. That's a cash cow, dog. Been there for years. They'll be fine. Well, I can't wait to... They won't. They won't. They, they, won't. they, they need won't. To, they need to, but they, they were saying that the new commissioner is... Uh, is uh, He don't... Ooh, they like they finna tip over. God damn. <laughs> Yeah, so as you were saying, yeah, as as I was, uh, do you so you uh, do you think he should be suspended? Yeah, man, if they got a protocol and and if they don't if, if they don't want dissension amongst the ranks, yeah, you understand. Lou hey. Weave just went bought some wine. Yeah, he got he yeah. got put in protocol. Hey, man, everybody got to catch the fade, man. Yeah. That's, hey, shout out to Kwame Brown. I didn't know about this until I heard him. Going <laughs> off. <laughs> Matter of fact, I called you the other day. You was going to rabbit yeah. hole. Kwame Brown. <laughs> I, was on a, I was on a serious rabbit hole, hey. and I felt negativity creeping up in my soul, man. Hey, man. There was no positivity it. about none of that shit I was watching that night. Man, look here. Everything was negative. The truth is never positive. It oh, never. yes, it is. The truth is, I love me some whiskey. Yeah. And this is delicious. Yeah. All right, man, my shit in a bad spot. Mm. I feel like I'm just going to have to hold this motherfucker. Hey, well, I don't know. Make this shit work this kind of way. How about that? Yeah, do that. All right, but anyway, the NBA playoffs are going on. And you said, well, I know Jim, Jimmy, is it Jimmy, Jimmy Jones? Jimmy Johnson of the yeah. Cowboys. Uh, some guy fell asleep and he cut him, like in, in, in training camp. Oh, yeah, get gone. And, they, and I think they said that, uh, I don't know if Emmitt Smith or Trachman did it or Michael Irvin or some shit. And he was like, you ain't Michael Irvin. Yeah. <laughs> so hey, you hey, ain't LeBron. Hey, and if the NBA don't don't give LeBron any punishment, I'll understand. All right, man. There's that. Well, uh, I moving it. along, uh, COVID numbers have dropped. It's the lowest have they've they? been. Yeah, it's the lowest they've been in a year. But the problem is they reached they gotten low, but everybody's lax. Uh do you expect a boom in a uh, positive COVID test? No. Not not for real. Now they might report some shit just to stir up some. How do they know the metric? I mean, I, I, my question was: People probably not getting tested as much. I was about to say, to what metric are they using to come up with the figures that say it's lower now? Well, a lot of people test temperatures for you walk into these businesses that's, or buildings, that, and maybe they just not having these high temperatures anymore. I don't even know if that ever was the case. Okay, Mister uh, Conspiracy Theory. I'm serious, man. Look, they, <laughs> I, I wish I. I Man, no. What you mean? I don't have the right words to use to, to express how I'm feeling about it. Except that, you know, maybe maybe the I, I I don't know how they were able to quantify how many people actually had it in the first place. I'm not, a positive test. Very okay. Here we go with that shit. How do they test? I'm not gonna ask you that for an answer. But I'm not I'm not positive on how they were testing for it. I'm not positive on you how mean, they, like. Temperature, rubbing in the nose. Yeah, all that. Rubbing your brain and all that. Yeah. Going past your eye. Well, I mean, no. it's the mucous membrane. That, was, that, was, that felt, that just hearing people talk about it sounded dumb as fuck to me. It just do. We need to put that, put that on the table, man. Well, yeah, that's why I had it in the first place. Yeah, you're right. You're right. But, uh, yeah, the way they tested for it, the way they confirmed if you were positive or not, uh, the the vaccine, how they figured out that it was it good or not, and did it work, and and now now negative. I mean, if you're negative, why would you go get tested? Well, you just never know when you. I guess you never know. Yeah. Either way, man, it's, there's a lot of shit up in the air for me. Well, I just really can't ride with it, dog. And if my old lady wasn't on me about getting that shot, nigga, I would not have that shot. Well, she was. You she got was. It. So now you goo up, nigga. I was goo up anyway. You know why? Whiskey. Because I sips some whiskey. All right, dog. We sipping on that Jefferson's was it Reserve. Yeah. Je- Jefferson's Reserve. Okay. I was, uh, I was, uh, look, I asked for some Blanton's. And this, the, the chick, the, the guy over here put me on. Yeah. She said, uh, hey, 
yeah, we got any more blends? And I was like, ooh. I'm like, oh, shit. Oh, where was this? Over here off of 521. Okay. All right. And then the girl came back. No, nah, we out. I said, oh, damn. You know, I'm trying. Do, do you? We, I think, did we talk about getting the whole, all the letters? Yeah, yeah. Ashen brought that up last show. Yeah. So. It's funny. Uh, me and the old lady was talking about it with the mother in law last night. Blanton's? Yeah. And then a commercial came, uh, a TV show came on with some Blanton's in it. Oh, it really? Was, it was rye. It was, a, well, it was a green label. Okay. And, uh, and I was like, ah. I had some Peppy something, number 12 or some shit the other day. On Pappy? Rye? Yeah. Pappy Van Winkle? Yeah. Nigga. Well, that shit was good. Oh. You know where I had it at? No. At Old Boy House. God. That shit was good as fuck. Hey, dog. That is the most coveted. Excuse me. That is the most That's coveted. That's that and that, and that black. That's some of the most coveted whiskey in the country, in the world, maybe. Pappy Van Wiggle, they have special email secret groups meetups when a bottle comes out. He must have bought that with that black bourbon uh, maker's mark. Well, I know this. That's what I sipped at his house. Hey, that Pappy Van Winkle dog is $100 a shot. I saw that because I was looking for that too. Like, man. nah, I'm going to hold off on that one. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, I would have appreciated that. Nigga, I ain't realize what it was. Oh, my goodness. Until I, go- Whoa. Until I Googled it. Yeah. Hey, that's a, you in some high cotton there, sir. Hey, man, that shit was good. Hey, well, I'm a little Because I asked, I said, what is this? He said, oh, man, it's that Pappy Van Winkle. Number, number 12 or some shit, whatever. Damn. Man, that shit was good. That's all right, man. I'm gonna see if I can get you over there one day. Dog. Hey man, dog, you know you, you lose your mind. You ain't, you ain't got to put put too much on it, you know. But just if I happen to be around and it just so happens to happen, yeah, that type of thing. You know me, I don't like to plan shit. Uh, I know that, and you know. uh, you know, but yeah, man, that happened. I ain't know that was a thing. Oh man, that I, that maker's mark, that black. I sent you the bottle. Yeah, yeah, nigga. I was I was like, whoa. Because I went to Specs and I asked him, he said, oh, no, 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 we ain't got no shit like that. Yeah, yeah, that's next level shit, man. It's this dude at the Specs over here. And uh, whenever you look, he's like, hey, how you doing? He comes out of nowhere. Yeah. He just like peeks around the corner. Stalking. Like, you think I'm a steal or some shit? Yeah, that's, that's what it is. I guess he be trying to put me I on I feel sorry shit. for your mother. <laughs> yeah, this black dude. But I guess he's doing his due diligence and trying to. Oh, so he more like hop it, Bob. Yeah. <laughs> how he really be trying to help you out. I started to get some more of that blacking. Yeah. That's pretty good. All right. uh, Who that nigga on that nag? This shit is good, too. Yeah, I see. I man. wish I wouldn't have put the ice cube. Yeah, because that's a whole lot of ice, dog. It is. That's more for show than for actual practical application. Now, yeah, I wish mine was like you. Yeah, man. Neat, man. They put it in the bottle like they want you to Well, take. normally I don't. I just felt like since we was doing this. You just want to feel a little play, a little extra. Yeah. I know what it is. Mm-hmm. Acting all light-skinned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, now the, the uh, are you familiar with uh, Israel versus Hamas? I'm familiar that they have a thing going on. Okay, this is going. I on don't know the Gaza. origin of. Uh, now I believe Hamas fired four thousand rockets. Most were shot down. Mm. Uh, now each side is claiming victory. Of course. And when this kind of shit happens, you always see buildings getting knocked down. Man, boy, I saw some video. Ah, uh, yeah. Man, it was, shit looked like a video game. And so they had a protest here in Houston yesterday uh-huh. in the Galleria, mm. which, <laughs> why do I give a fuck? And why does America get, they're not, they almost have, have their foot held to the flame. It's like, what y'all going to do about this? Yeah. I guess they're supposed to control Benjamin Netanyahu. Oh, uh, yes, is, is that Yahoo? Is that I think that's who that is. Yeah, like, right. nigga, fuck, fuck them. If they, especially Man, they, they got, been, they been fighting any, forever, dog. Is there any oil involved? I'm sure there is something about that. It's a strategic military post or something. There's something to gain for the U.S. involvement. Well, fuck all that. I mean, get that dumb ass shit up out of here. Hey, man, that ain't that shit gonna is happen. stupid. Let them kill each other if they want to. Hey, not, man. It's money involved, and the U.S. is tied in it. That's it's, all I know. It's all about religion, too. For them. Like these churches, like the Catholic Church, the Church of Scientology, and, and Christianity. Uh, you, and, do, and, and, you should not ever put Scientology in the same sentence as them other ones. Man, you know what? what I'm tripping. They all about the same. Yeah, I mean, like, man, what the fuck? How, how, how is religion. 
leading the body body bags. Hey man, this is you talking about well, gang colors was on body bags. Okay, there you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you uh you was talking about being a heathen last show. Oh, are, nigga, are, are you heathen. having are you having some kind of religious reckoning or something? Nigga, no. I don't know, man. Never that. You mad religious, son. Huh? Somebody turn to your neighbor. <laughs> well. Won't he do it, amen. Praise nigga. God. <laughs> All right, man. Uh, we've been going. Uh, we had a guest lined up. Uh, him didn't answer the phone. Uh, typical nigga shit. Uh oh. But I, I was very excited about that guest, and maybe he'll call while we're recording. And we can get him on. Yeah, that'd be dope. But if not, we'll carry on as usual with your voicemails and that fucker because this is the shoot from the hip show. Five five nine eight two five seven four six eight. That's five five nine eight two five shot shoot from the hip one at gmail dot com. And make sure you check out shoot from the hip dot x y z. And uh, you can get all our podcasts. You know, sometimes they don't all load up on uh, Stitcher and Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts. Mm. If you go to our website, you can catch all of them. If you're a new listener, go back. Check them all out, man. Uh, you can get a load of what we're doing. We've been doing it for a while. You can see the maturation. Yeah, you can see all the, the maturation. progress. You can see that. Uh, all that there. Uh, you can see how we didn't piss some folks off. Yeah. And we might have pissed you off. And if we have and you still fucking with us. We appreciate you. But this is the Shoot From Here show. We say what the fuck we want to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He did the pimp hand and everything. Hey, pimp hand. Man. Hold up, man. We say what the fuck he we want. He sprinkled some ism on these bitches. You got damn right. <laughs> Judge. Right. We going to take a break and we'll be right back. <laughs> Bang. All right. And we back. Hold uh, up, now. Hold up. This is the Shoot up. From Here show. 559-825. Self can say that's 559-825. Shot. Uh, D. Reese, D. Montoya's uh, knocking around news, fuckery, and all of that other shit. But joining us from uh, Atlanta, Georgia, or maybe I got it wrong, I don't know, is nah. one half of the Smoke Session, uh, one fourth of the No Nonsense Show, and, you know, I guess a member of the Rare Sonics Podcast Network that is. and all that other shit. Uh, apparently he can't play dominoes is what I heard. Oh shit, here you go. <laughs> nah, you know you ain't heard that. I don't know. No, I, I, I know that's not what you heard. No, I, I, I know didn't that say that. You heard. Ain't that right? I, I'm not. Hey, hey man, I didn't say you couldn't play dominoes. I didn't say that. <laughs> okay. It sounded good. All right. <laughs> yeah, because I, I don't know nobody that ever said that. I Honestly, I didn't live, the, you know, a long life so far. I ain't never met nobody that say Jamie Mack don't know how to play dominoes. Not near one. Okay. All right, well, you know, uh, I do know that uh, you're a little better than average on the video game uh, brand of uh, Domino's. I'm not going to accuse you of cheating or oh. nothing. Oh, oh. You know. was there, I mean, is, that sounds like, it sounds like an excuse. It sounds like video game Domino's, which is all <laughs> maybe some people got when they in in, in Texas and some other people oh. in Georgia. Okay. That's the only way you can play, right? Oh, but oh that's everybody a else that Everybody else that be catching L. I don't hear too many, you know, excuses. They'd be like, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm getting better. I'm working on it. You know what I mean? I'm actually learning from you. You know what I mean? And I don't charge nobody for that. I get everybody <laughs> free lessons. <laughs> hey, man. I didn't give Montoya at least, a, at least a, 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 about a thousand dollars worth of lessons for free. Wow. Ooh. Wow. So are you That's saying that much he, there, home boy. You're saying he could take them lessons and go to, to the cookout and win some domino games. If he ain't been schooling y'all, I'm disappointed. Like, if he ain't been taking what I've been teaching him and, and, and unleashing it on, on the rest of y'all, you know what I mean? I'm kind of feeling some kind of way. Okay. You know, right. I'm not doing my job. All right. All right, Sensei. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you, can, can, can three people play in one game? Or is only one on one. Nah, one nah. It's only uh, heads up. See, it's that's why I don't. See, because I would love to get in that. Because I, I mean. And I, Heads up is different than, than you know teams or cutthroat or anything like that. Heads up is heads up. You know what I mean? It's it's it's, it's, it's step into the circle. You know what I mean? And it's ain't no one can help you. You know, ain't nobody holding dominoes or making nobody pass for you. You got to do all the work for yourself, man. Yeah, that's it's right. Different when you go heads up. Yeah, you can have that uh, weak player in front or behind of you. Yeah, and that kind of fucks you up. Unless you got a cheat yeah. app. If you got a cheat app, it'll it'll mitigate that stuff. Oh, I ain't know that. Was cheat app. <laughs> I didn't, listen, listen, Rich. I didn't know that was a thing either. So you tell me you got a cheat app this whole time and you still losing? No, Ooh, you no. set yourself up. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> you do that. I'm just, I'm just it's, saying. It's all I, good. I, I, 
I never heard of a cheat app, so I'm assuming that you got that thing. Well, I mean, you probably know the proper name of it. I just call it a cheat app. I know that's what you're using over there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, right. well, see, I'm gonna tell you right now. Now, I'm real quick though. Before we, that's the highest form of flattery for me. I ain't gonna lie. There it is. When someone swear, when, when, when someone be like, "Man, the only way you could do me like this, you must be cheap." Yes, and I'd be like, "Thank you, Jesus." Uh huh. Ooh, that's what I say. Ooh, because he gave me these gifts. Won't he? He the one that gave me these gifts. Turn it to your name. You know what I mean? Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, I All need right. to go to church more. <laughs> yeah, that's your problem. You ain't with last time you been to church. Oh, wait, it's been a minute. See, uh, see, there it is. There it is. All right, we heathen. God don't like show. ugly. Uh, we, we're heathens, and I know you are heathen because you are <laughs> the uh, moderator of the Boom Boom Room, so I know you are heathen. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Hey, no, 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 no. I'll be led by the spirit in the Boom Boom Room. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Yeah. If we don't have <laughs> nothing else in common, we got that in common. Yeah, that's the truth, bro. That's right. for sure. All right. Uh so uh J J Mac, uh, as you are known as. Oh, I found out your your full name on the voicemail, I'm not calling you the NASA. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> but uh uh moving along here. So you are part of the uh no nonsense show. Uh yeah. and we found out when we had Beyonce on that y'all used to work together. You don't have to say where. But y'all used to right, work right. together. And I'm trying to figure I know you lived in California. He lived in Atlanta. You can't explain how you and Beyonce got together and what even brought you to Atlanta? Because I can still hear the Cali in your voice. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. Oh, yeah, no. Nah, it's not. It ain't never going nowhere. Especially, I, look, I just was in Cali like two weeks ago. So it's real fresh. Oh, like, yeah. I, it sounds like I, fresh. I got re- yeah, I, I got recharged. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got that Cali recharged Sound in me. Re-booted. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> but nah, um, you know, me and him when we first linked up, you know, what I mean, um, it was different, right? Because you know, at the time, I was the 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 management person, right? You know what I mean? Okay. But I've always been, I've been always been straight up with anybody I mess with, you know what I mean? So that resonated right away with us. Like we we was both real, and it was like, listen, I guess too too, you know, all the corporate nonsense, but. I'm gonna try to help you do whatever you know what I mean. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it real with you, and then that that just resonated. You know what I mean? Um, he was a Hawks fan for some reason, <laughs> and so you know we used to make bets against the Lakers and then the Hawks and stuff. And this was when Kobe was still alive, so you know I'm winning. Yeah, I was winning more. It wasn't it wasn't the greatest of times, you know, because this was hurt Kobe. And but anyways, you know we we kind of linked up. I moved out here. I, I can't move out here just on a humbug, man. I visited one time, fell in love with it, um, and was like, I, I could do this, man, because of the propaganda, right? Before I left California, I was absolutely not moving to the South because they still flew the Confederate flag over the Capitol, like mm. after two, after in this yeah. millennia. And I'm like, yo, bro, this is, this is a whole new millennia, and y'all still are flying a, you know, Confederate battle flag over top of the Capitol. I'm good at, you know, passive aggressive shit. And that's real passive aggressive to me. You telling me without really saying it was what? You ain't gotta worry about me coming. I'm that's, good. That's a hell of a dog whistle. Yeah, I'm good. And and but then when I came to visit, I didn't I didn't feel that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And and I think what people say is that Atlanta's a little bit different than the rest of the South. And I can I, I mean I imagine because I don't know what the rest of the South is like. I only know that's greater black Hollywood, Atlanta. Man, that's black excellence in Atlanta. Bro, it, and that's what I found out. Like you know Mo- what I mean? That's what I saw. Motown. I saw it right away. You know what I mean? It's like people that are in the positions that are able to help other people are black. Where yeah. in California, a lot of those positions are white. And you need to, you know, make sure that you got some white folks on your team in order to be able to make moves accordingly. You don't have to have that, right? Like, I mean, not to say that there's nothing wrong with having white friends. I like white friends. I got white friends. You know what I mean? And, but you don't need that out here. You you can get ahead without having to have white connections, and that's what I thought was dope. I got I got a piggyback question to that a little bit. I'm familiar with the coon train. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. Do, do you care to explain where that began and and what that is? Yes, yeah, so I, I I would love to. Because <laughs> if anyone doesn't know. I am the, the, the conductor and proprietor of the, <laughs> <laughs> of the coon train. And, and I just happened to, I get this because 
I don't go soft on niggas. When niggas ain't right, I, I'm going to say you ain't right, nigga. You know what I mean? That's just me. I'm not going to say everything is black is, is great. You know what I mean? And I, listen, Black Panther was just an okay movie. Okay. Uh-oh. You know what I mean? It, it was, it was just an okay movie. Right. Ooh. But let me say that. Guess what? Choo, choo. Yeah. I got to be on top of the coon train. All right? aboard. Yeah. Oh, right, we, 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 we've been on the coon train, especially me. <laughs> and, and I think what really happened, I think the, the inception of it all was when we had a conversation about slavery. And I just said that black people today that didn't have to go through slavery really need to be thankful for slavery. Uh-oh. Because first off, you didn't have to deal with it. So, so, so miss me with that. You ain't getting no lashes. You ain't getting no shackles. You didn't do none of that. But you did get the benefits of your ancestors having gone through that, making you an American citizen. The benefits in one of, the, of you know, slavery. <laughs> that is hey, bro. Say. It sound real Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't Kanye at all, bro. But I'm just saying, I'm saying oh. that there is, there's a, there's a, you know what it is? Silver line is playbook, bro. I, I, I see the benefit in everything, right? I uh-huh. see the, the gold in it all. I'm not saying slavery was cool. I'm not saying slavery was right. I'm not saying I like slavery. But if it wasn't for slavery, I most likely am not here today talking to you. Yeah, we'd be. Am I, am I not supposed to admit that? We'd be in Rwanda somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. We might, we, we, <laughs> we might be in Wakanda if you ask somebody. Yeah, there folks. you go. Yeah, I mean, and, and we all know none of them niggas want to be there. No. No, nobody. Listen, man, we could talk all this shit about the hoods we live in, the shit we deal with in America. Bruh, you got both your hands. Ain't nobody over there didn't chop one of your hands off. You ain't, they didn't turn you into a killer at six. You know what I mean? You wasn't carrying an AK around, you know, when you woke up going to elementary school. Stop, man. It's a whole different world outside of America. Shoot, and booze, shoot. <laughs> See, and so, I, and so, I, I'm just saying, you know, I, I said it's kind of like, you know, scholarships. You know what I mean? Like where you, you, where were you in the scholarship? They like, oh, well, you get a good education. You know, what I mean, you don't get paid, but you get something out of it. Mm-hmm. And to me, that was kind of like slavery. Niggas wasn't getting paid, but you did get something out of it. <laughs> Oh man, this is gold right here. <laughs> <laughs> this is this just, a podcast gold right here. I'm just saying, bro. We gotta admit the truth about the stuff that we got. You know what I mean? That how it goes down ain't always the way. You know what I mean? It is. You know, everybody want to be mad about it, and I'm mad. Don't get me wrong. Mm-hmm. I'm mad that my that my folks had to go through that. Yeah, it sound like it. But. I- <laughs> <laughs> Oh man! I hear you, but dog. I ain't gonna lie. I it's, might be madder if they didn't go. If you, I might if be you in Africa not here somewhere. Be, right? I might be in Africa yelling at my great grandfather, like, "Why did you get on the boat? That's why we still here suffering." You know what I mean? Like, look, yeah. with no shoes on, <laughs> right? Right. Look at, food. Them, oh, shit, look, look, look at them African Americans over in, in America oh, winning. Shit. I hear. Little baby's got Jordans. Look like you know what I mean. The train is Little stopping. Little walking around with Jordans. <laughs> the girls on welfare buying their shoes, their kids Jordans. You know what I mean, Dad? Look, the, the poorest of them babies got Jordans. <laughs> I, Dad, I, I got blisters. I ain't got. I ain't got shoes. I just got a, a whole layer of callus on the bottom of my feet, Dad. <laughs> Come on, man. You could have got on the boat. <laughs> Give us free. Yeah. Give us free. Take some ass whoopers for four hundred years, so we can stay, be on top later oh. with some J's and, be, on. and let's be. And let's be clear, there's not real much difference now than what I'm saying than what's happening now. My my I go to school, I mean I go to work every day like a slave. My my, my kids don't give a damn. They like go get hey, you better say yes ma'am, no ma'am, sir, and, and bring that check home, Daddy. Mm-hmm. They don't give a damn about none of that stuff I have to go through at work. So I'm supposed to have, you know, I'm supposed to be different, right? I'm supposed to be also compelled that I don't even want to live here no more. <laughs> That'll work, man. That'll All right. Work. Uh, so you are a member of the uh, No Nonsense Show, and yes, on, sir. The, on the No Nonsense Show, uh, there are two of y'all. As I, uh, some of my closest friends would say, "Puff on Pine." Uh, y'all decided to break off and start a show called a Smoke Session. Yeah. 
had to do it. Had to do it. I mean, it was already a it was a show before we started recording. Right. Like, I mean, that that's that's the, the honesty of it all. Like we was having smoke you know, like me and Reg, that's the normal thing, right? You know, and sometimes it would bleed over to the show if we did it before the show. Um <laughs> you know, Reg be stuck and shit, you know. <laughs> and so we just decided let's let's yep. hold off till afterwards. And then you know what? Let's just I mean, we be talking about it's a wild shit. Let's just record this. Let's 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 make this public because man. Some some of the shit, and I, and I I'm waiting for that really really good one. I mean we've had some some really good shows, but I'm telling you, sometimes when Reggie get high, and he and he go back to Haiti with his mind. <laughs> that shit is that shit is great. That shit is great. Like he when yeah. he don't exhibit no American traits, that's the best. All right, so that's the best. Y'all decided to start now. This is only on premium, right? That's right. Okay, so it's only on premium now. So who brings the weed? We do y'all do y'all Ooh. alternate? Kind of like ready to I would love weed. to yeah. say yes. We yeah. alternate. I would love to say yes. We alternate because uh-huh. then my pockets would feel a little bit better. Yeah, but nah, for, you know what it is too. Well, he, he just started that. working. I understand. Nah, nah, but yeah, see, don't he, give he, that he, out. Nah, yeah, nah. He come from Haitian. He come from Haitian mafia money, bro. He 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 got money. He be mm-hmm. front. His dad his dad's connected. You know what I mean? That's how he was able to get to America. But anyway, he told me one time, oh, you know, I don't be driving with it in my car like that. Oh, that's a good you excuse. Know, he, he wanted, yeah, he wanted those guys. Anymore, I don't think. Nah, he, he wanted those guys. You know, and I know those guys. I don't want to put it in my car. Like, I mean, I watch him put it in his gas cover. You know what I mean? Like, like yeah. really? <laughs> you might as well go on and cut the tire open, bro. Yeah. Like, I mean, you. what are you doing? You go, This is you ain't going across the border. You you live yeah. like ten miles away, but anyways, he, that was his excuse on why he, I was the supplier all the time. And then <laughs> Work for come me. to find yeah. out, come to find out, he do ride with it. But every now and then he'll come with something. And the thing about it is, I don't like smoking his weed though. I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, I was about to say that. I, I, I was thinking you, you probably don't want him supplying. Ooh. Nah, man. So Red be Red doing all kind of weird stuff. Weed? He be doing all kind of weird stuff. He want to roll it with two, three paper. I'm like, what? Yeah. He want to put. Well, filters. I would think that sounds like it would burn slower, right? I don't. I don't want that much paper, though. You <laughs> know what I mean? I might as well smoke a blackwood. I love myself. You I want your I weed blackwood. to paper ratio to be right. Well, I don't. Know right. That's got, why we got him on. Hey. It's got to be right. That weed to paper ratio cannot be off, and that's why blackwoods are bad. And, and, oh, and it is. Person, I didn't even know what that, that was. Smoked, I heard you mention it the other day on the show. Yeah. Any black person that smokes backwoods don't love their life. They don't love black people. I love black people more than any <laughs> a person that will give you a backwood. Uh-oh. If a nigga hands you a blunt with a backwood in it, he don't. He's running a coon train. Oh, that's the conductor right there. Uh-oh. Get get him. All right, man. So <laughs> so at, at what age did you start smoking weed? Ooh. And what age? Uh, yeah. And when did it become? Because this seemed like a factor in your life. When did weed Bro. smoking become like this is what I do? Okay, so let me see. Ooh, okay, so I'm gonna put it like this. I was born in seventy two. I think I was smoking by eighty. Okay. I did the math there. Okay. That's I, pretty I, early. I think I was sm- I think yeah, I think I was smoking by eighty, nineteen eighty. I don't think the the new break dancing had even been popular before. But you would have been in the wire grew- that Thursday. Man, that's <laughs> way early. <laughs> hey, you would have yeah. been on the wire. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, God that's damn. way early. But see, this is the thing. I grew up in, in Southern California, right? And I was raised by a single mom for the majority of the time while I was out there. Me too. And I, she didn't, you know, she, she didn't try to hide nothing. You know what I mean? I, I go get the box. You know what I mean? She go give, go give me my box. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's now about what, to be now, a party. Now, was she using Easy Wider? No, yeah, I don't even remember. Look, it was just zigzag. She, <laughs> oh, she had a, she had, she had a box though that you look like a, you know, what we use for blunt boxes now. But hers was all customized. It had butterflies and shit on it, right? Oh, look at I that. opened that bitch up. All the weed in there, the papers, you know, all of that shit, right? And so, all my family smoke weed. You know, they come over have a party. I'm, I'm the ashtray man. You know what I mean? Like I. <laughs> y'all just get high and leave half joints and you know you know Gee, roaches you all of this. Right, I take a two or three out of that, and and it all started with my my older friends. You know what I mean? 
uh, they're like, hey, your mama smoked weed, right? Yeah. You know where she got it? Yeah. Go get some. Okay. I'll be right back. And from there, you know, it just changed, you know. And once I once I hit it, boy, it was like, it was a wrap. Yeah. Because for, for, for a nigga that got ADD, I was able to kind of slow down. Hey, man. Hey, man. ADD wasn't a thing back then, dog. I know. But I still had that shit. <laughs> Look, it wasn't diagnosed. Listen, I, you want to hear something funny? I was in the second grade. I got suspended 37 times. Well, damn. 37 times. I'm talking about you can't come to school. Yeah, suspended. you might as well just find another school then. And, and the only reason why is because that year they stopped whooping niggas, right? Because back when oh, I yeah. first started school, yeah. you could get paddled. And so I used to just get paddled all the time. You know what I mean? And name that shit wasn't working. Apparently. And then. <laughs> they got a new principal that didn't believe that yeah, from paddling the suspended. And see, when I got paddled, nobody knew because I just it would happen at school. And I just come home. You just take it like Suspicious. a G. And then go take get it like high. a G. <laughs> 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 I got once, you. And that's and that's how I knew something was right. You know what I mean? Because they know second grader supposed to be suspended. You know that many times, but it was always some shit I was doing. You know, I was, yeah. whether it was bringing a cat to to school and putting it in my desk, grabbing on a girl booty, you know, going home to get a oh, signature man. and never coming back. I you got know, you. yeah, now you was fast, dog. He managed, nah. he managed. <laughs> you getting high, kid. grabbing ass. Uh, yeah, so, damn, yeah. man. On my mama's side, <laughs> yeah. that's a, that's the rough side. Okay. That's the rough side of my side. All right, and they, I was voted most likely. To, to be the, to the roughest, the, the wildest out of that group. Okay, you know they was like this. And see, that's the problem. Black folks, black mamas, black daddies. Oh, here you go. Listen, do do not, listen. No, this is gonna help y'all. Oh, okay. I, listen, I'm helping them, not hurting them. All right. Listen, do not call your kid bad. All you're doing oh. is when you call him bad, is you're giving him a license to be bad. To be bad. Because yeah. guess what? My mama already know. She know I'm bad. She call me bad. What I'm supposed to do? Yeah. I'm supposed to be something different. I'm supposed to be good. Well, that don't you know, even make sense. Black folks, is, I, I had some kin folk from Cali who used to say, man, you was a bad little nigga. Yeah. And yeah. They, but that was a, a like an endearing statement. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, mm. and, and it definitely comes off that way. Like, ooh, he's so bad. Yeah. But, but you know what? But it ain't, it ain't like, come here. I'm a, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to stop being bad. It's like, no, oh, that's, that's, yeah, a, he's so, that's a pet you on the so head. Bad. He's so bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and but and, and so I had to live up to it. <laughs> <laughs> it sounded like you did that, man. All right, man. I had to step away for a second, uh, but I'm back. Uh, now I've been told uh, by a weed smoker that this is back in the day. People in Houston don't make as much money as they could because in Cali they only sell the weed, but in Houston people was rolling Swisher sweets with weed. Now I guess that's an extra charge. Now am I, am I correct? When you buy your weed, do you buy just a sack, or do you buy it already so, rolled, or do you like to roll your own shit? Yeah, no, I don't. I don't even. Nah. So hold on, y'all buy handmade pre rolls. No, 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 so no. We got, no, no, no. This we, was we got back stores. in the day when all okay. the, all my boys started smoking weed weeds in high school. I don't know what the fuck niggas do today. Okay, okay. Well, so, well I think I they roll lie. their own shit because when they go to the convenience store, they got all kind of flavors and colors of weed rolling papers. Or something. I don't, I'm yeah. not going nowadays. Like, so I was just at the club the other night and we was able to smoke up in there. Some cat, I don't know, pull out a joint, a yeah, blunt, right? He started passing around. I'm like, who's is this? And he points to a dude that I ain't never seen. Nah, I'm good, bro. Yeah. Mm. I'm for real. I'm for real. I don't, if I ain't, I'm not just smoking anybody's shit. No. You know what I mean? I, I it, look, y'all get, I got my own, so I don't need to smoke nobody else. Oh, you did have your own because I'm thinking like sex life. If a girl opened her legs, I'm diving in. But you yeah, tell it to me, it's just like weed. You see some weed, nigga, I got to have it. Yeah. That's a lot nah, of control. But, but, but if you just met it right and you know that you live in an area where herpes Ooh. is on the, on the rise, <laughs> you, you just might talked wanna, about that last show. <laughs> you might yeah. want to think twice. Yeah. You know what I mean? You might want to take some, some precautions, you know? It, mm -hmm. And again, if I, and you're right. If there was no other weed and I hadn't smoked all day, I might smoke. But I, I had just smoked some shit of my own, and this dude come in with some new shit. Mm, 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 mm. And then I'm smelling it; it don't smell don't great. Smell you know what I mean? It, it, it ain't. It, it wasn't enticing. You know what I mean? Like she opened her legs. 
Yeah, she opened her legs and she got hair all down the side oh, of her legs. Man, she like, uh. Wouldn't shave and nothing. Uh, I like, uh, I like, right, I mean, I like <laughs> Harry Potter. Now, that's one thing <laughs> me and your co-hosts do have in, in, in common. Listen, I love listen, some hair pussy. Listen, hey, hair is okay. But not on the lip, bro. You got the you got and I want it Listen. coming from the top all the way to the crack of their asshole. See, hey, there that's it is. That old, and the that's that old country shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's that old country shit. Yeah, you know what that hair do? I don't get stuck in my teeth. Hey. Nah, it, it, it. you know what else gets stuck? <laughs> 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 but that's but you're right though because it is a sticker, right? It it, it gets stuff stuck in it. It stuff be stuck in it, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, man. You got, you can't. You, I'm gonna just say it like this: with all that hair, you can't just come straight out the draw. You are gonna have to put some towel to that. You are gonna have to hook up bath that full on shower. You might have to take. A, you can even get into the pool, hot tub, something. But you are gonna have to moist. You are gonna have to dilute that before I come down there. Hey, well, you, ain't just, head and you ain't just coming out the draw. A real man come prepared, keep a comb in his pocket. <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay, so check this out. Now, you and French Reggie, do y'all indulge in Reggie, or y'all do hybrid, hydro? Because uh, I hear hydro is expensive. So what is your preference? So we do mostly, uh, no, we don't do no Reggie. I mean, uh, and don't get me wrong, I will. I'm not that dude. Again, I'm a bottom line zero some type of brother. It seems you know like, what I mean? Reggie, like so- Reggie is so... That that the so easy rigid. top, the easy wider type, you know, that's so joint like. Niggas smoke blunts, yeah, no, and optimos and, and hybrid weed now. Nah, so this is the thing. Real talk. I had to teach the nigga how to smoke. What? I'm like, bro, yeah, I had to teach him how to smoke. He was smoking this shit like a cigarette. I said, listen, dude. And it, and it was my weed. That's why I'm like, listen, man. You gonna have to hold my shit in longer than that. Over my weed, nigga. You go. You gonna have to. You gonna have to utilize my shit. You ain't even giving my shit a, a champ. You like ah, nigga, that you didn't even hold that shit in. You know how long it's gonna take you to get high? Just breathing in and out like that with my weed. Nah, bro. Hold it in until you can't or you choke. You know what I mean? Then let Ooh. it out. Now I've heard you do a lot of that. Oh boy, oh, yeah, I got. I, that's some of the funniest shit to me. Remember, I, I, I text <laughs> you. I'm like, bro, like, does that shit? Pain, is that shit painful? <laughs> nah, that's 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 the joy. Because I know sometimes when I'm drinking something, they go down the wrong hole. I'm eating too fast. I got that feels painful in my throat. But it sounds like y'all enjoying not, this shit. But see, this ain't going down the wrong hole. Like you, like if you swallow down, you know, food down something in the wrong hole or water down the wrong, that's bad. This is just smoking your lungs. And what's happening is it starts to expand. You holding it in, and it's a fight. We want to get out. Like, that's it's, it's a fight. Okay. The weed want to get out, and you like, no, you ain't done yet. <laughs> I ain't, uh uh-uh, uh, uh uh. You want me to, to come and get up? Uh uh-uh, uh, I'm gonna give you some more strokes in. Yeah, stay in here. You got to stay <laughs> in there. And then when you let it out, you you know, have a you know, sometimes the real good one is when you let it out and you get so lightheaded that you feel like you're about to pass out. Okay, nah, that don't sound like nah. fun, man. <laughs> nah, bro, <laughs> that sounds terrible, <laughs> dog. Come on, man. Don't act like y'all used to play that game when y'all was little. Yeah, hold I know chest, game you're talking about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I didn't yeah, play it did either. That. I, I saw, look, I saw the, the homie next door neighbor hit his head on the bumper. After that, I was done. Yeah, I'm like, is. wait a minute. Y'all really passing out? That is I thought right. niggas was faking. Okay. Until he busted his eye on the bumper. I was like, oh, no, he he did. That was, he was out. Mm-hmm. So you saying you smoke hydro or exotic weed every time y'all smoke? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How much is your weed habit per month? Um... See, you, you trying to get a nigga in trouble <laughs> because <laughs> because I have ways to offset my habit. Like I okay, so I'll say it this way: I partake with people. I'm gonna I, that's not the right way, but I'm gonna I'm gonna try to say this right. A friend of yours? Well, you're right. Yeah. Okay, yeah, right. A friend, right? So <laughs> okay, a friend can, of mine. can you give me a low ball okay. estimate? Okay, low ball estimate. I'm gonna say it for free for me. I don't pay. That's the reason why Ooh, I got a friend, okay. right? So, okay. so what it is is, so what it is is, I got a friend, and this is how he do it, and this is what I kind of mimic. You know, he like, listen, I don't want to per se be a weed seller, but I know enough people that buy weed that if they bought their weed for me, then I wouldn't have to pay for my weed. Okay. 
Yeah, I'm, taking, like, I'm taking over what's going down. And all I want to do is, you know, I'm not, I'm just hooking up other people. You know, I'm making runs for them. You know, if they go, if they need some, I got them. And then I just get mine. So you believe the in the time. barter system? Barter system. Man, listen, that was my, listen, that was my era. I already know. When I was reincarnated the first time before, it was during the barter system. I guarantee you I killed the game. I was on that <laughs> shit. Yep. Help. You yep. know what I mean? I, I, we could trade any book, man. I got something you need. Okay, so Twan Twizzle joined you and Red <laughs> on a smoke session. Okay, now is it still two hits and pass it on? Do you have a, how is it? The you rotation. Don't hear that too, you don't hear that too often, but is the nah. rotation still a thing? Nah, they, I mean, the rotation is a thing, man, but these, these cats nowadays don't understand. Like, I, I, it's it's a, it's not as serious. You know what I mean? That, when I was growing up, a dollar seemed like it meant more. Right, like a dollar was more worth more. Like you could get more with a dollar back in the day, and nowadays a dollar don't go far. And so when you know people are just so casual with it, you know. Uh, but see, I what I do is if I'm gonna smoke a blunt with someone, I I take precautions and I get what they, I don't know if they sell them out there. They used to call them Garcia Vega, right? Yeah. But now they're called the game or something like that. I don't know, but. They burn real slow. And if you don't keep hitting it, that bitch will go out on you by itself. That's what I need. Because a dude that want to talk, you know what I mean? Because you mm-hmm. have, you, you, I don't smoke, but there's, there's always that dude that want to hit and talk. You know, when he want to talk the most, well, it's his turn. Well, and I'm guessing. Now, now I, I've heard Start you. Start getting smart and shit. I've heard Reggie. I don't, one of y'all said that mushrooms, or shrooms, I'm sorry, shrooms put you into some different shit. So I imagine <laughs> no, re- if, okay. you, if, you, if you're getting high, Man, you got some shit you want to get off your chest. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So Reggie is the shroom guy. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. I, I take shrooms, too. But Reggie will be 7 o'clock in the morning. Reggie didn't do shrooms with his mama. You know what I mean? So I'm not on that level yet. You know what I mean? Me and moms ain't did shrooms yet. You know what I mean? We we just we, we keep it to drinks and some weed. That's I about imagine that would right be now. awkward. I, you, I'm, I'm thinking, you know what I mean? Because, I, you know what? Honestly, me and my mom, we probably don't want to do that. You know, you get it. We we get to talking some shit. You know, we hurt everybody's feelings and shit. So mm-hmm. we we you know you, we get a, opened up on some shrooms and shit and tell everybody business. So yeah, nah, it's just I, I like to microdose those. I don't want to. I don't. I don't want to see new new galaxies and stuff. Ready to be trying to go from places. I'm I'm good on Earth. All right, man. Microdosing is something I've been hearing a lot lately. And it, within the last about two three years, I've, I've been I've hearing been hearing about this. What is that? I, I know what the name says, but is that a lifestyle or that's just a, a style oh, no. of doing drugs or what? No, no. So it is a lifestyle, right? Like, I mean, Silicon Valley. I mean, they, that's the home of microdosing, right? That's that's like where I first heard of it. It was niggas out there doing all that computer shit, taking fucking shrooms, LSD, fucking, you know, but it's in micro doses, right? So it's not, it doesn't give you the full effect. Of an LSD trip, or it sounds so innocent, or, man. Yeah, it does. It, it sounds real well, see, innocent. It, you know, white people—that's how they do it, right? When they make up the shit for them, it, you know, it's, 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 it sounds so babyish, right? Like, oh, we just Bambi, microdose yeah. it. Bitch, it, it's, it's LSD you talking about, bitch. You talking about some acid? Man, you round and really. get zooted. I, mean, I don't care how much you take. Right, you talking about acid tripping? You know what I mean? But you say. Oh, microdosing, and then you go ahead and develop some app and make money, and then yeah. it's a great thing, right? You're just like, oh shit, microdosing is the shit. I fucking saw some shit. I, I thought of this app. I made it. We fucking stayed up all night microdosing and shit. <laughs> made a bunch of money. I live in a fucking gentrified area. It's great. Oh, uh, I gotta. I'm, I'm gonna take microdose on the other shit I do. Fuck, fuck that. I microdose on whiskey. Yeah, all listen, day. I, I, all day. Just some sips, you know yeah. what I mean. So that's that's the difference between sipping and taking that shot. Yeah, micro. A shot ain't microdosing. If you sip it on on something that you can take a shot of, you microdose. There it is, man. All right. So let me ask you this. Now, when I was in the army, I had a friend of mine. He worked in. God uh, bless you. I know. He worked in. So there. <laughs> you a, did not. You, let me just ask you: Had you or had you not seen Boys in the Hood before you joined the army? Yes. So you just heard fewer of speech. That's the white man's war. Well, first of all, when I went in, I was like, man, ain't no war finna happen. If it do, we gonna win. Okay. You know, <laughs> that was my thought. And 
I was not ready for college. I grew up in a single parent home. Was not ready. All right. I didn't come from a lineage of people that had college degrees. Right. Okay. The, the, now, don't, I feel like I'm smarter than a lot of people. Uh, but anyway, it, it worked out, man. I, I, I feel like life. Uh, I feel like karma hit me, and I, I live pretty goddamn good. I ain't gonna lie. Hey, listen, I'm, I'm I applaud anybody. My dad's a ex, you know, serviceman. He was in the army. Tried to get me to do it, and I. And I, I feel like he was setting me up because he knew. Me and authority? Mm-mm. We got a problem sometimes. Nah, like, you, you, you speak your mind too much. Yeah, yeah. I already told him that. I was like, yeah, you was trying to get me, you know, court martial there, you know, <laughs> dishonorably discharged. You know what I mean? He wasn't, he wasn't looking out for me. You thought he, he was going to break me. You know I can't be broke. Oh. Uh oh. All right. So here's the deal. I'm going to throw some stuff at you about weed smoking and I'll comment real quick. Well, not real quick. Take your time. You just give your thought. Anyway, so I looked this up and this is the benefits of weed smoking. Uh, oh, okay. Relief of pain. Now, no, yeah, you, sure. I'm, I'm 42. You said you were born in 72. I mean, you're older than me. So yeah, any sure. back pain, knee pain, anything that weed just kind of helped relieve that? Um. I think you have to be specific. Like you have, I mean, cause not all weeds do the same thing. Right. So like, if you want, you know, pain tolerance, man, you got to go get that. And that's usually going to be your heavy indicus. I don't really fuck with that because it sits me down. You know what I mean? I, I like to do shit. I, I like to do shit when I, I don't want to just be stuck. And that's what that'll do to me. And so I don't really fuck with the pain type stuff, but yeah, it's out there. Okay. All right. Uh, Helps with diabetes. <clears throat> Thought. Just give me um, your thoughts on that. I mean, I'm, you're yeah, not no, I believe, you wouldn't so, know. Nah, so, you know, my I, my first, like, real love song with weed was legalized by Peter Tosh, right? And in the song. Reggae. Shout out to Reggae. All, shout out to Reggae. And he is one of the original whalers. Talking about all the better, you know, tuberculosis, you know, like, uh, I mean, all these different things that you can treat. With with weed, right? Mm-hmm. And I was like, man, I'm all, I'm done. Fuck all it. And I didn't even know if it was true. It sounded good though. You know what I mean? It, it, it's the, and again, I I, it, I was like, it come from the earth. You and that's the thing. You, so people say people say so do cocaine, right? Cocaine mm-hmm. comes from the earth. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, fuck that. But you got to you got to do some shit to cocaine. Cocaine don't come off a plant like you can't you can't snort a plant. You can't go to a cocaine plant and just do a rail. You can't do that. I can take a weed plant, break that bitch off, let it dry and die, get and your, smoke get, that bitch. I don't get, have to get do, your uh, what do they call it? The grinder. Get my grinder. I don't have to do nothing to it. God and did everything He wanted to do to it, and it's great. I just need to let it die and then smoke it. And put fire that's upon it. spliff. That's it. Put the yeah. fire to it. It's good. <laughs> that's how I know. You know what I mean? Because God made it just the way it was. It's supposed to be right here, right now, from the earth. Yeah, from the earth. All right, treats anxiety and depression. Without a doubt. Without a doubt. Like, I mean, I could be in some kind of way, you know, feeling kind of uh, dark and gloomy. Hit some smoke and be like, you know what? And and I think, you know, what's the name of made a joke about it, but it's true. You know what I mean? The shit that brings you down sometimes ain't worth bringing you down. It ain't worth it. You know what I mean? And like Cat Williams said, you give you the fuck it. You know what I mean? Where you'd be like, you know what? Fuck that. I don't give a fuck right now. And you know what? That's that's liberating. When you can say, you know what? Right now, I don't give a fuck. Hey. And, 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 and it doesn't change, right? But neither does stressing. You can sit there and stress all fucking day about some shit. All you're doing is making yourself sick. You know what I, I mean? I submit and, to and, that it, kind of thinking. That'll make so, me go so, smoke some weed. Right, right. So, so I, I mean, if, if it's between sitting here stressing and getting high, I'm going to get high all day. Okay. Uh, now, these are some negative things that I read. And I don't, okay. have, I don't have as many of the have as the positive because I don't want to uh, rain on your parade of uh, being the average no, 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 no. that you are. So, no, so listen, just micro dose. People bring up, yeah, be, <laughs> be honest, bring up, be honest, be honest, bring up, you know, negatives all the time. I've had people bring up negatives all the time. That's you, bro. I didn't. I didn't smoke weed with a dude to say he couldn't breathe. So we made you so you can't breathe. I can understand that being a negative, and you may not want to do it anymore. That ain't me. I ain't never had that issue. Uh, Blocks memory. I guess you have a problem. uh, um, You know, you forgetful when you smoke a lot of weed. That's a that's a that's a true. 
I, oh, I'll admit that. And once I realized I had ADD, I said, well, you know what? That's probably not the best thing for that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just being real. I understand that. I already have an issue. Compounding it with this may not be the best thing to do. But here we are. All right. Uh, can cause, okay. Can cause testicular cancer. I ain't never heard that one. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I ain't never. Heard I knew it was one of the things. Like, all right, nigga, hold up. I man. think somebody <laughs> lied. They right. lying on that. One. <laughs> okay, and that mean, it, I mean, right. and that's a pretty specific one too, yeah. right? I mean, that's not like just just cancer in general. That's like cancer. That's it comes after you, nuts, nigga. Like here it comes. Like I don't know about that one. All right, now, I know too many niggas that. I mean, unless they just undiagnosed. You know what I mean? Gosh, damn, it, it, it's got to be a lower rate than COVID if, if it is. Okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, now, I was watching The Breakfast Club years ago. Now, this yeah. guy that was on there, supposedly, supposed to be 21 Savage's dad, but he said that smoking tons of weed can can make you grow breasts. Breast? Yeah, that's what he said. He, 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 it, it increases estrogen or some shit like that. Oh, I ain't never heard that one either. Well, I look I mean, like, don't like you got no titties, so I guess that one is wrong. Nah, I I don't, and I and you know, and I I still like to fuck. You know what I mean? It ain't it ain't <laughs> it ain't ruin that. You know, so you know I, that yeah. would be like one of the first things I would think that would be gone. Like, is if you get you getting all that estrogen, like you know, you just don't want to you don't want to do it no more or something. But not nah, ain't it? Okay, I, I ain't heard that one. All right, now okay, here's an okay. Being I heard it. I, I've experienced it just the opposite too. Like that shit made me want to get it in. Okay, like, I don't know. Not like the opposite. Now you are the uh, the curator of the Boom Boom Room. Now I was watching yes. Wesley Pipe said he don't need no fucking Cialis Viagra. All he need is some Hennessy and some good ass weed. Now does weed make you better in the bedroom? No, it. So this is the funny thing. I was just thinking about this shit, right? So it. So early on, right? It's a desensitizer, right? So, you know, a brother early on needs that shit. You know what I mean? I need to be desensitized. I'm oversensitized right now, you know, in the beginning type shit. So, um, oh, y'all. You, you good? Yeah. Yeah, no, no. I had to. I was, Are you uh, smoking weed now? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I was on key patrol. Um, okay. And I, I don't know where they was at neither, so I had to think. Okay. See, but um no, if um it, it, I ain't, you know, that that desensitization it was like great cuz now you can last longer, right? So it's like, shit, I'm gonna get high before cuz then I don't have to worry about, you know, that, that nothing, slippery you know, first right, one. Right. Right, yeah. right. I don't have to, right. I don't have to worry about that tricky first one. We good. And and you know that just kind of progresses over the years, but yeah, no, it, it, listen, that that. But see, Wesley got it different though, because he he got different bras every time. You know what I mean? And like Jay Smooth say, "What's better than old pussy? New pussy, new pussy." And 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 he get it every he get it every show. And it be, hey, shout out to Smoothie Nation, man. You ain't, hey, you ain't uh -oh. gonna be hating on Smoothie Nation now. <laughs> Hold on now. <laughs> yeah, buddy, we got a resident I, I, one over here. Yeah, you know, and smooth. He, he have, you know, he has something to contribute every uh, quarter. So yeah, that, that, that was that was his for last quarter or one quarter he was in. Yeah. So smoothie. Oh my bad. So okay, you tell him. So okay, so you said that smoking weed makes sex better for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. 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 Now I know you're a married man. Does your yep. wife indulge in any of these extracurricular activities? <sighs> not. Not. Uh, so occasionally, you know, if there's a birthday or um, event or yeah. something like that, you know, yeah, she might hit it once or twice. But now that made the be loving honest. better. No, no detail. Be being respectful, but the yeah. new y'all like whoa. Oh, so for me, I, so my thing is, I always told her ever since we was dating, I like it. I like it. You know, I like getting it in when she got a little bit of. That, that liquor taste on her breath. I don't know about it. Yeah, something, <laughs> something, well, something, something about that, like when I when I kiss her and I taste that little bit of that that Bombay or some tequila or whatever the fuck mm -hmm. we was drinking that night. I know it's, it's yeah, that's 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 the one right there. But we, she, she's like, I don't know if you ever seen. 
cheating chunk up in smoke. I've seen so like, many cheating chunk movies, but it's been a long so this time. So is the one. This is the one where they all getting high, and everybody high except for Chong. Uh, and he like, man, y'all must get high off grass clippings, man, because I don't feel shit. That's her. We could be smoking the best weed. We could be, I mean, everybody in the room could be high. And she'd be like, I don't feel it. I mean, like, I don't get it. Like, either you need to, I mean, stop it. You know what I mean? Because it feels like you just wasted. I've tried to say, look, we just going to keep smoking until you pass out. God damn. And then she'd be like, she'd be like, I just don't feel it. And I'm like, God damn. That kill everybody yeah. else high. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I can't be wasting weed like this. Honey. I love you. All <laughs> You 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 didn't already admit it. It don't do nothing to you. Yeah. You know what I mean? So don't waste the weed. Yeah, don't waste the weed. But look, I, I I just got some. You know, y'all listen to the show, so y'all know I'm a I'm an advocate of the Molly. You know, I'm. Oh, uh, yeah. I think I've heard that before. Yeah, yeah, I have. Heard yeah, that. yeah, I'm an advocate of the Molly. I feel like if now, do you, you do you get locked, jaw? No. So you you can see this is a thing. There's there's a lot of things out there perpetrating as Molly. And if you find yourself with like clenching your jaws and shit, that's the shit you got. Probably got some method. Yeah, that oh, method I heard do, that too. Yeah, that that make you do that clenching all that shit. Molly ain't that. Molly is clean, and it's and it don't. And people are like, oh, I gotta stay up all night. If you staying up all night on Molly, that's because you're on that meth shit too. Ooh. Molly ain't that. Molly is just a euphoric feeling that lasts, I don't know, a few hours, and it's fucking like, it's different. I mean. It's impossible for me. I don't know about anyone else, but it's impossible for me to be in a bad mood at all. There's, there's, it's just not. I can't. I've never. Whatever's going on, if it was bad, and I took some Molly, I could. It could be. I could be at a funeral. That shit's gonna change Damn. my attitude right away. <laughs> it's gonna change. I'm gonna be like, yo, they lived a good life, nigga. Let's kick it. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> let's celebrate them. You know what I mean? What? Why are everybody sitting around here crying and shit? What the fuck? Like. That's the that's how it is, you know. what I mean, and it, to me, like I just got some. And my boy, the, the thing about it is, the dude that I know now, he was like, "Listen, I'm not. All I found out here is that meth shit." He's like, "I don't want to give you that." I'm like, "Dope, I, that's dope." And then he said, "Nah, I got some some real deal shit." He got it from a nigga that all he do is he follow events, right? He follow he follow concert so you know scenes and shit, and he just go on tour like the fucking band, just wherever they stop, that's where he go getting off his shit. It happened to be some shit in town. He came through here, dropped off some 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 shit. Bro, I'm telling you, it's a... You show I, selling I, I this wish, shit. God damn. Like a song no, listen, bitch. And I, would tell, and I would tell anybody, and he said it to me too. So this dude also is the, the weed man too, right? One of your said, boys, why you ain't got to buy weed? Right, right. right. And he like, listen, <laughs> he like, this is my favorite. Like, if out of anything, this shit right here, is the I said, hey, me too. Like, if 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 someone said, listen, you can only do one or two. Yeah, you can have pure MDMA for as much as you want, you know, or you can have as much weed as much as you want. I'm sorry, we we had what? a good run. Really, we had a good run. Okay. Because again, it don't it ain't it don't take a lot, and it's just a whole different vibe. Like it. Now you talking about sex? Oh, some money. Yeah. Okay. That yeah. might be the closest thing to French Reggie going up different planets. Like this yeah. should be on some other level. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Yeah, I heard here first. Because everything, because everything is Molly everything is better is, than weed. Yeah. Everything is on on all your senses are heightened. You know. Well, it sounds like uh, everything. Shrooms. Kind of, but I think maybe there's some of that in there. Okay. But I think in in this one. There is a more, um, yo, 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 sex energy is heightened too. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? Like, it, like, it definitely makes you horny. Like, you, like, a- along with all that other shit that you got going on, you do get horny too. Like, j- chicks don't even know why. Like, they're like, damn, my fucking shit is just dripping. Like, oh, you're no. like, what? Okay. You're like, damn, what? And you're like, yeah. And like, I don't, I don't, I don't know why. It's just, just don't, because everything is fucking charged up and sensitive. So all the nerve endings down there, <laughs> they, 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 they do an overtime. It ain't nothing even touching them. They just, you know, they just doing their thing. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's, that's my shit. Who has better weed, Cali or Georgia? Nobody's got better weed than Cali. 
Okay. And that was a lob. I'm just saying. <laughs> I mean, I, mean I, I don't know. Is that? He might have hit some shit in Georgia. Like, like they ain't got no real weed out in that red clay. Okay. So, so, right. So, this is what I'm saying, too. The sun hit differently. So, when I was in Cali, right, it's early morning and it's cool. But that sun already is, you could feel the rays. Like, in, and if you were a plant, you just eat that shit up. Like, I mean, and there's no, it's sunny all the time. Like, it rains every other three days here, you know, so it's cloudy some days and shit. Plants don't like that shit. Plants want fucking consistent sunlight, especially during this time of year, you know, spring and summer. Just give me as much sun as I can handle. And that's what Cali gives you. And, like, I mean, I've grown in Cali. And I, to see what the, that sun does to plants, I ain't seen that nowhere else. Okay. All right. Uh, now, I'm a, it's either this or that. Uh, who would you rather smoke with, Wiz or Snoop? Ooh, I'm gonna say just because of my age, I'm gonna fuck with Snoop. I was gonna say Wiz. You, you better not say Wiz, though. Well, I'm just saying nah, Wiz nah, got nah, his own nah. weed. No, screw no, that. he do. He do. I do want to. I, 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 I do want to. I, I, I do want to fuck with Wiz because he he's you're like on some other shit, right? Like, but Snoop might still smoke Snoop. Reggie. Snoop ain't right. smoking nobody. Wiz is Reggie. smoked the KK. No, no. You tripping? The goddamn hybrid shit with the hair Who coming is out of it. Smoking that purple Urkel. Okay. Nah. So <laughs> listen, this is this is how I, I, you know, and everybody say, oh, this and that. I come from California, and there's Mexican right weed, and that's the kind of the the, the what we call Reggie, right? They they be like, oh, it's that packed brick weed, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and it is. And it's cheap, but bruh, one of the best weeds I'd have never smoked was some of that. Mm. And I'm telling you, had me looking at the popcorn ceiling like it was another planet, man. I was like, gosh, damn, what was in that weed? Like, I ain't never seen my popcorn ceiling look like the terrain on Mars before and shit, but look at it. It's tripping. I was gone, bro, off of some brown shit. And that's why that I'd be was, like, that, fuck Hector. <laughs> that's why I'd be like, fuck Hector. Pay, pay the... Well, I think I paid a uh, hundred dollars for an uh, ounce. I don't know yeah. what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You you ain't supposed to. You ain't <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got anything home team? Oh no, man! I'm just enjoying the drug conversation. <laughs> I can't wait till I get to smoke me some weed. It's gonna happen pretty soon. I'm gonna do this. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna happen. All right, man. Look here, man. We appreciate you joining us on the Shoot from the Hip Show. You can catch Jamie Mack on the No Nonsense Show every yeah. Monday. Well, it comes out on Tuesday. Tuesday. Come, I'm sorry, comes out on Monday. Tuesday. Record Monday. Now, y'all are not doing two episodes anymore, right? No, no, no. That's the right now. Last side. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Yeah, yeah, that shit ain't, that shit ain't easy. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, maybe I was, after the pandemic. I was Listen. proud that y'all did it that long. I was like, man, that's that's, that's, that's heavy. Hard. I don't know if I, my wife would let me do that. No, I real get funny looks as it is. Me and Reggie still doing two shows. But, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, but, and, and, and if you want to get the smoke session, this is brothers smoking some weed and doing knocking out a show, kicking that topics, shit, kicking that shit, talking some dope topics, and that would make you have to be a premium subscriber to the Rare yeah, Sonics sure. Podcast Network. And you can sign up at rarsonics dot com. It's only four ninety nine. That that it's a little bit of nothing a oh, month. Four ninety nine. I pay a year. Yeah, see there you go. <laughs> that's that. See? That's that ball. The talk. military taught you that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man, we appreciate you prepared. joining us. Uh, I'm, I, I'm a avid listener, man. I don't smoke weed, but I feel like I'm sitting in the car with y'all. Uh, we gonna get good. French Reggie. That's how it's supposed to be. We gonna, we gonna get French Reggie on here next if, uh, if, if he's available, and we gonna talk some it, more weed and dope and MDMA and shroom. Talk. Well, he does the shrooms. So he has, and, and I want to yeah. hear about the man turning into the goat. I gotta hear that story out that's, of his that's mouth. Ula Agra, Ula Laga Uga. <laughs> Whatever that shit he say All that kind of motherfucking shit Hey man we appreciate you joining us And man we'll holler at you know, Man you've been an awesome guest man Man big time dog Big time we appreciate you And uh, hey man uh, smoke all you want man <laughs> That's yeah. right you know what hey, y'all, y'all stay shooting from the hip baby You know how it is Hey say that Alright man we'll holler at you next go around Appreciate you Alright peace Yep I wanted to rap for you. Like, I like, listen, I, listen, I live for y'all. So oh, I just wanted to rap for you. Rap. Y'all want to rap? I can rap. I thought that. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. What? Come on, do this. Hey, 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 hey,
Why? Big Apple from New York. What up? Big, big Apple, bitch. What up? So, question: When is your parents going to jail for taking all them people? Boy, like, how many kids in a dungeon? How many kids in a dungeon? When they going to jail? <laughs> you little short. You look like your tongue. You can take them. Stop. Are you gonna? Are you gonna take them? Are they going to jail? When are they going to jail? They took all them people. What's going on with your mom and father? Who? How do people they took? They okay. picked me up too. I'm scared to go to ATL now. I don't want to go to ATL. I'm scared to get picked up. I'm scared about getting picked up in a white fucking man oh, by a short bitch named Tiny. Somebody come and look at this. Look at this. I'm scared to go to ATL now. I don't want to go to ATL. I'm scared to get picked up. I'm scared about getting picked up in a white fucking man oh, by a short bitch named Tiny and this man T.I. I don't want to get picked up. Listen, I'm scared for my life, my sister, my mother and father. I don't want to get picked up. So why are they taking people for? I want to know what's wrong. What's up with that? Like, you want them too? I don't get it. You want to take oh. me too? You want to take us out? What the, what, wants, what's going on? Why are y'all taking kids and people? I can't even turn this. I can't even take this nigga off. No, stop taking fucking people, bitch. Listen, you and your fucking family got all them fucking people in the fucking basement. Stop taking them fucking people. Guess what? The FBI they gonna get y'all dumbasses. Watch, you Illuminati crucifying ass bitches. Y'all probably be in the motherfucking under, underworld over there crucifying people and shit. Y'all gonna get caught up and watch when the FBI catch y'all ass. And that's on period, bitch. Don't get mad at me. Stop taking people. Over here taking people and shit. What's wrong with y'all? Black Lives Matter. The fuck? Y'all over here stealing people and shit, taking people mothers, fathers, uncles, aunties, and you just sitting there stuck. And somebody missed Freedom people! Yeah, Freedom fun. people! Ooh, who read them people in the basement? You know where they at there. I hear them yelling and screaming. Baby. You know, baby. Freedom people. Are you you feel better? No, nah, I feel better. I, I said the people are free. Freedom. Go find them. It's in your basement! Let them out! Baby, I don't live I live with my myself. Well, while well, I heard well, I heard what I heard, I seen them in the ATL picking up people. They picking up females, <laughs> kids, dogs, <laughs> cats, and everything. <laughs> Well, I'm just letting you know that. Tell your mother and father, stop picking up people up in ATL. Leave them the fuck alone with their old asses to go about their motherfucking day. All right? They picking up all them fucking people and shit. You want to be picked up so bad. I don't want to be picked up. I'm so good. No. I, 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 I don't need no ride. I do not need no ride. I do not need no fucking ride. Okay? No ride. No ride for me. No ride for me. I'm just saying, like, I just find okay. that crazy. Like, why y'all taking people for that? That's just fucked up. Like, it's really fucked up. <laughs> Man. Hey, Zaddy. What? <laughs> <laughs> what in the entire hell was that, man? All right. Uh, take for what it's worth. Did you contact me? I, yeah, I, I picked up on it. All right, man. But that was a dude talking. Nigga, that nigga was throwing his hat back. He was. Him ain't right. He looked back at him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so apparently. Gee whiz. Zanique. Which is Tiny's oldest daughter. Well, she looks she's a pretty girl, man. She her mama looks. Yeah. Oink oink. Uh she uh went live and uh she I guess people were rapping or singing. So she was letting people audition. I guess, yeah. And then that thing showed up in there. Yeah. Nigga. And so him went off, and uh, it made his ways around social media. If you not heard, you know, what well, you hearing it here first on the show. I couldn't tell if he was serious or not. He's being some bit. I mean, why would you do that? He's flipping that that, that raggedy. Uh, that, that that was not even a wig, dog. That looked like Halloween roster or something. It, looked it like, did. Looked like a Halloween costume. He was throwing that shit back. Stop playing. All right. Oh, you want to get picked up so bad? And she played it well. Yeah, she she rolled with it. Uh, T.I. and Tiny are under investigation for drugging 11 accusers, 10 men. I'm sorry, 10 women, one man. Uh, of course, they deny all the allegations. Uh, Indubitably. Yeah, they're, you know, LAPD is investigating this. They kind of admitted to being into some freaky shit. Uh, yeah, they didn't deny that. But I don't but think. But ain't nothing wrong with that, if that's what you're into. Well, I also, you know, believe that. Again, a little sexual debauchery. We I ain't never heard talked nobody. about this several times on Shoot for Him show. You do not engage with celebrities <clears throat> if you don't plan to pull your pants down. Yeah, it's not right. But I'm just saying it is what it is. 
Hey, you you got to cross the threshold when you start dealing with those type of people. Mm-hmm. You know. And one so. of your holes going to get filled. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the same kind of hole we were talking. Yeah. I think that's part of them being married. It's like, T, I have to look at her. He like, mm. <laughs> That was valid. <laughs> he like, hey man, make this shit work. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, look, bro. Now the the, <laughs> the 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 one man is what's throwing me. He off. might love that woman. Don't be doing that, man. Now, he does love her. Now I'm guessing he's like, look, I get tired of hitting your ugly ass. I'm gonna get somebody else to do this shit. He's like, the the, the price of my experience is expanded astronomically. Yeah. So uh, you're gonna have to allow some extracurricular activity off in our be- bedroom. Yeah. So you, you you think they're guilty of anything? No. I don't need Niggas know what they get into. It's just like the same argument when uh when we talk about when chicks go to a celebrity's hotel room three, four in the morning. It's the same shit. Yeah. Come on, dog. You know what you're signing up for. And if you end up leaving that that place and you're not happy with what you did, well you wouldn't did that. Mm-hmm. Don't be trying to come after their pockets after that. Yeah, exactly. That's why, like, who? What's my man name that played for the Yankees? Derek Jeter. Derek Jeter. No hey, phone. Da- damn, Skippy. All kind of prerequisites for you get off in there. Yeah, and you will never hear nothing about him. Mm-hmm. He got it legally binded, and he waited till he was late in his life. Late. Day. He's yeah. like, okay, late. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this we is gonna do it the right show. way. My toys, the Reese. Uh, we just had Jay Mack, the uh, weed smoking extraordinary. Shout out to show. Jamie Mack, man. Shout out to Rare Sons Podcast Network. Shout out to the Smoke Session. Shout out to them boys. Yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, Tip and Tiny, uh, they they just after them, man. I think it's one of the things like Deshaun Watson. Okay, we got accuser. Now we got ten. You see how it works? Yeah. It don't have to be truthful. All it has to do is be an astronomical number. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it sways the court of public opinion, which is where they play all this shit out first mm-hmm. before they even make it to court. He got some work to do for us building up his uh, 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 cachet. In the, in the, you, you almost can't fuck with him. Speaking of Deshaun Watson, I'm, I'm hearing those things about the fall off the rails. Yeah. All those accusations. Yeah, well, they didn't went and got shaky now. Yeah, But the damage is done. The team fucked him. Yeah, The team fucked him. So it don't matter if he goes, goes any further now. Yeah. Now we watching the PJ Championship, one of the four majors in, in golf. And Phil Mickelson is up four strokes with eight to go. Yeah. Nick. Yeah, well. He he he's fifty plus. Well, I mean, golf ain't no athletic sport. Nigga, stop. So you uh, you didn't he let me doing finish that. For, you didn't let me finish before I even got the rest of it out of my mouth. It is not an athletic sport. Okay. Yeah, that's the, it. First of all, your <laughs> back. Is one of the main things in in, in in golf. Okay, I can go with you there, but and not that fit not that heel kick. Ain't okay. nothing athletic about that heel kick. Okay, that's what we doing. Yeah, <laughs> nigga, <laughs> <laughs> around here. Oh man, swinging a stick. Y'all yeah, know the phone over. I heard we ball. got some breath. Yeah, we got breath. Just one, but let's see how potent it is. All right, it come from the eight three zero. Let's see what they got to say. What up, Reese? What up, Shy? This call, what is oh, cool call today, May twenty first. Top shot up. <laughs> it's a good day out at the park. Just listening to the show y'all had with Aslan. It was a good show. Just checking in. I see that equipment looking good. Hey, why don't y'all um, create a Amazon wish list and post that? Right, it'll make it a lot easier. I know that donate button is great, but if y'all just create an Amazon wish list. Post that for the listeners. Probably help out a little better. No, y'all don't like asking for nothing, but the people support. Holla at them. Love you. Out. Peace out, cool. Carl. Shout out to that man, Carl. That's that's my homie, best man in my wedding. Yeah, that's dope. Yeah. Uh, friends from, what, seventh grade? Yeah, seventh or eighth. One of them. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, we've been rocking ever since, but he got a good point. I thought about doing it. Remember, I, I think I mentioned that a while yeah. ago. Yeah. And I think I set us up a uh, Amazon page. Okay, well we'll work on that. You know, we just throw I know every I, yeah. we'll throw everything on that PlayStation Five. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I'm not doing that. Uh, uh-uh. uh. If it ain't going to this <laughs> show, we not equipment. doing that. Golf equipment. Yeah, your ass. 
Golf, everything. But no, seriously though, I guess Paper it's Max a thing, man. I guess let us. I will do it, and uh, if you choose to contribute that way, uh, yeah, ain't no if sense. You want to see your not shit having more tangible? Avenue. Uh, then hey, man, that's another way, another avenue for you to yeah. help donate to the cause of this podcast and this fuckery and this foolery, this news, this humor, all of that kind of motherfucking shit. Yeah, with all them expletives in it. Hey, <laughs> your cussing ass, piss bottles. That's a thing. Oh boy. <laughs> Hey man, <laughs> I told you about my piss bottle last. Uh, did I tell you? No, I, didn't, I just my nigga. I, I had to uh, like I, on a road trip. Well, now I had to piss in my damn uh, my my what's the name? My fucking bottle that I uh used for the gym. Why you was at sp- the gym? No, nigga. I told you I was waiting on the shirt. Got to deliver the shirt, and I I just couldn't hold it no more. Oh, oh, see, you told me about waiting for the shirts. Well, I mean, that's what I said. You was. I didn't. I didn't catch the pissing in the bottle thing. I think I would have made more. Jefferson fun of that. Reserve. No man, please don't, don't don't you put that. I'm so coherent. Oh, Jefferson Reserve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nigga. Oh. Unhook, un, unhook your shit, man. My bad. I thought. Okay. All right, all right, good wop. All right, uh, moving along here in the Super Nintendo Show. We'll <laughs> get an Amazon right. registry, registry. And, uh, hey, man, hey, if you feel uh, so inclined to do that, that's on you. Uh, no pressure. Uh, the people that do donate, though, man, we always highly appreciated, man. And uh, you've been rocking with us, man. You see the development. You see the changes in the show. And let's move on here. Uh, Joe Budden, uh, he was accused of sex, accused rah, of, rah, of sexually, <laughs> uh, uh, sexually harassing <laughs> Olivia Dope. Now, not only doing that, but live on pod, on the podcast, mm-hmm. uh, he he since apologized. Uh, now, did you see that video? I did. We did the hug, and he got me kind of started doing a little gyrating thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah I saw yeah. that. Thoughts? Yeah, well, that's out of line, sir. Way out of line, especially especially some of the, some, some of like it's one. being filmed and you doing that, and he just he was on nigga, nigga, <laughs> come on, man. Look, Akin, that dude is an idiot. He's crazy. Uh, some of the smart people in the world are crazy. Yeah, well, I mean, there's a certain amount of intelligence that he has that works yeah. for him. I can say that because uh, he get on the show, he do well, then something fucks up. He needs a PR team. He gets another show, it does well, then he fucks up. He always talking about business and how he negotiated around this and, and all that. Nigga, for all the genius that you claim to have, nigga, you can't, you can't stay out your own way. Uh, yeah. You got to step on your own dick. Step on your own dick. Trip over your own trip dick. On, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tripped over your cock or whatever you want to do. Yeah. And he's a fucking idiot. And uh, I believe just because you're smart – it doesn't excuse you for being a dumbass, and he is definitely that. So go ahead, and get him gone. Uh, I believe Les Joe Budden we'll is a great see. thing. We'll see, man. I don't. He can, you think you're gonna be able to bounce back? He keep he keep bouncing back. I don't you know. You ever seen those those movies? What do they call that? When everything is all destroyed and everybody's everybody's living in dust and a uh, orgy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, not that. But it's when when like an apocalypse happens or something, and then they're all the survivors are tr- just trying to make it. Like the Book of Eli, whatever that was. Yeah, yeah, yeah I got you. And, uh, you know, some kind of way out of the ashes, Joe Button keeps coming back up. Oh, he just keep living. Yeah, like a cockroach. What is that? What are those? The, he, he, it's like he got the, all the stones from the uh, Avengers. The Infinity Stone? Yeah, he got them all. He got something. Or nine lives. Because the dude... I don't care how much y'all complain about how he keep coming up and falling off, he keep coming up. Yeah. As this, and, you know, he can burn bridges, but then all of a sudden he got more bridges that you didn't know he had. Yeah. And it just keeps happening. It's a whole cycle, dog. So I'm not, I'm not, I'm not coming from no place of hate at all. I'm just amazed at it, actually. I don't like him. Yeah, well, I can see that he ruffled feathers. I Like I say, I watch the show, I listen to the show, and I hear it. I hear and see some shit like, eh, that was some fucks, yeah. But I still listen. Rah, 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 rah. Yeah. yeah. Let's nigga up out of here, man. Hey, well, we'll see. All right, there's other podcasters, i.e. the Shoot from the Hip show. Oh, yeah. I.e., we just talked about the Rare Silence Podcast Network. There's other fucking podcasts to listen to. Mm-hmm. Fuck this nigga. He's a clown. 
Uh, he's been enabled uh, for clicks. He's been like, enabled. Yeah, I mean, he every bird, every person that gets away with everything they want to do and say, they've been enabled. Yeah, he had nobody to smack him. Oh, give me a chance. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you want that smoke? I mean, nah, not really. I don't even with all that. Really too old. I'm too old, man. I can't even hold my piss, man. I can't. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, yes, indeed. Well, uh, Ebony K. Williams, the she's an attorney and an AKA. Uh, man. She ah, really, yes. Okay. Man, she. I, I like her. Yeah. I don't like that she keeps trying to find her way and it ain't catching. In this entertainment industry, uh, she started out on Fox News. Only black girl, I think they would have her. On she was a- one of those. She started out on Fox News, and her like her- like like the Stacey Dash. No, never was that. Okay, well, I mean, but she was trying to find her way, and Fox News they clearly know she's a black woman, and she didn't come off like uh, I think Harrison something, the female that kind of plays into their that shit, but she didn't come off that way. Uh, she was. She said she was there to kind of to, to give the other side and, and you know stuff like that. She's an attorney. She's an AKA. She's a pretty woman. Uh, for walking what? down the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She All can right. get it. Uh, she can get it. <laughs> <laughs> now she ain't black dot com. Oh, but she definitely can get it. All right, then. Yeah. You know, it's funny when women become famous; their titties get bigger. Is that right? Yeah. How does that happen? Uh, they got an air pump. They got, got silicone. Yeah, I'm gonna say there's some augmentation. Okay, I'm just saying. And definitely. All right. Uh, but yeah, she uh was you remember she was on the uh that the revolt we used to watch it when we used to record at the other house. Yeah. Uh, what is that called? What was the, the show? Culture. Called? Something. They studied the culture. Yeah. She came out on. She was on there. Uh, she like I said, she started on Fox News. And she has a podcast now on Charlemagne's Network. Now she stated that uh, she was into with the with the state of culture. She meant she's gonna start a podcast with Charlemagne on his network. Charlemagne gang, yeah, Charlemagne gang. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, hold up, hold up, man, hold up, Charlemagne. <laughs> But one shout she, out to Webby, she man. Met, she mentioned that to uh, Joe Budden, and that was where it all ended. And I guess he probably wanted to control that and be have some credits that he didn't deserve. Did he hug her and gyrate? He know who he can do that. At least with. not on camera. He thought he could do that with her. He know who to do that shit with. He know who to fuck around with and all of that motherfucking shit. Nah, and I'm just know. like, dude. This nigga is a straight client. This nigga proposed to Tahiri, an industry thought, and on Times Square, and got and she told a nigga no. Yeah, I mean, come on, man. Well, I man, I don't know. I don't this know. Nigga about did love and hip hop. Well, I mean, come on, man. Them chicks ain't that great. I think I think the chicks weren't weren't bad at the time. You know what? Do they still do that? I don't know. I don't. I never kept up thinking with about it. it you know? I felt it felt corny. It, it felt corny to me. Very. You know, I just. I could see the everybody hard, on every, that shit. It was struggling. always drama. That's, uh, that was it. You yeah. tune in for drama, and I I don't like that in my life too much. Yeah, except for with this Kwame Brown shit. All I don't mean Kwame shit Brown. Up. All right, Kwame Brown versus Stack Five Gilbert Arenas, and you know the all the smoke pot. And Becky with the good hair. He decided to finish something, and I was confused I, I, because of shit. Every day he dropping gems. Hey man, he must either had a lot of shit pent up, or this is calculated. This nigga going hard. But I think it's speaking, a bit, bit of both. And well, I feel like how you feel about Kevin Samuels. This nigga speaking some truth, dog. Yeah. He dropping gems. Oh, they, them two need a podcast together. Who? Kevin Samuels and Kwame Brown. Eh, that'd be oh, cool. Shit. At least for the first few episodes. Yeah. yeah that nigga there, uh, he thought. <laughs> I'm loving it. But, uh, oh, he, he uh, covered for him. Charlemagne decided to go on his thing to defend people that record on his network and uh oh did he play himself because it brought back the uh accusation of Charlemagne. That rape shit. Shit. Yeah, that rape shit and Sa- Charlemagne. That was a sucker move. I saw that. And typical bitch made move uh sent the cease and desist yeah. letter. And uh oh Carmen didn't like that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. The cease and desist what? Yeah. You ain't ceasing to desist in that man? Yeah. He's going to talk. Yeah, been talking. Been talking. 
And uh, yeah, he just showed I, himself to be. The I sucker saw he had. when Charlemagne was talking about that man's old man and his brother, and, the, and he the thought shit he was on did. some shit. I was like, man, leave that brother alone, cause I know his family. And they did this, that, and the other. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that was so out of bounds. That was crazy, man. Like, what? who put you? I don't, I don't know if somebody put he him He got up a battery in his back. He bitch made. He a whole ass. That, that was some whole shit there, honestly, all day. This ain't got nothing to do with them. Now, if you want to say, man, he come from a crazy family, and uh, you might want to leave him alone, you, that, that could have been it. At the most. At the most. Because he could have left all of that. Like, he he went said, all hey, the way in and got the name and specific shit. Man. He thought he was being a G. He, taking yeah. up for Matt Buck. Well, well, no, Becky with the good hair and stack, stack five. I don't know gangster. if he was taking up for them. He was there on his network. Yeah, but he was he was really just saying leave him alone. But this is why. Because that nigga that might be and crazy. He went in very good detail. He did yeah. some research. Yeah. he Some people did that for him. Ain't no way. He, he didn't just, do all that. He didn't shoot that from the hip. No. Come on, man. So, Stop. Uh, he deserved everything he get, and I hope Kwame Brown keep lighting his bitch and, ass And up. if I had been sideways and teeter-tottering on what side of the fence I'm going to land on with this Kwame Brown thing, when Charlamagne did that one, like, oh, I'm with, I'm with Kwame. All day. I'm with Kwame. Hey, fire the ass up. Yeah, light, and he light been him up. Now, Steven Jackson has since came out uh, and was like, what's up? He said, I'm in the A. Well, I tell you, come meet me, nigga. You can't win every fight, and he talks this gangster shit, and somebody gonna whoop his motherfucking ass. Well, now nah, I can't. He's a little too old for that, man. Nigga, it's corny. One day he, and then I agree with Cameron. One day you a Muslim. One day you Black Lives Matter. The next day you a blood a and you ignorant. Yeah, man, get the fuck out of here. That nigga's a clown. He's a comedian. He's on live every day. Smoke. Well, whenever some shit pop up, and he smoke. Come and say, man, put the blunt down and pull your pants up. Yeah, <laughs> I was like. That's some old man shit to say to somebody older than you. Yeah. Hold up, man. man. Get this nigga up out of here, man. Look, look, I'm a black man proud to be black, uh, contrary to what some of y'all That kind of black. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I tell you what, man, look here. Steven Jackson Day is coming. The day he get his ass whooped, the day that podcast going to end. Man, come on, man. Don't nobody want to hear them talk that long. They do a long show. They need to chop this shit up, too. Yeah. But don't be wishing for their downfall, man. It, you know, people grow. People evolve. Clearly, some, Steven some good, Jackson ain't evolved. Good, he, and, and what do you do when you get mad, when you, you, can't, you can't win? You challenge somebody to a fight. Yeah, you get pull up. Hey, I'm, I'm in your city. Hey, nigga. Kwame Brown seven feet tall. Yeah. That's a big man. Well, you talking to a short dude just ain't worried about height. I All right. <laughs> I don't have it, so I don't care about it. If I got an issue, we gonna have to handle it. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, don't no, miss me with the height shit. <laughs> <laughs> Say, man, hey, I don't think Stephen Jackson want that. He too old for that, man. I would look, dog. All that gray on his on his on his chin, dog. Hey, man, once I start getting gray like that, dog, I don't want no problems, though. Nigga, I'm staying all the way out of that hill. Uh, Angela Yee, uh, he he went in on uh, DJ Envy, Stephen A. Yeah, right. For, he ain't been wrong yet. <laughs> no, now he did go in on a uh, skip, skip, and skip deserved it, but Shannon Sharp didn't. Yeah, he he, he threw a little little bit of smoke at Shannon. I'm like, nah, that dude, dude he was he was bigging you up, dog. Yeah, and you, you ain't got to throw that at him. This nigga go hard every day. It been for like two weeks straight. He got a toolbox in the back of his truck. Hey, and a tractor in the yard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was on there eating a salad the other day. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. <laughs> put this salad down. So I talk about your punk ass. <laughs> oh, punk. Yeah. Oh, man. You got the wrong one, boy. I told y'all. I told y'all. This is what they going to do. <laughs> Naomi Campbell. Oh. Uh, one of the most popular, well, I would say the, 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 the creme de la creme of, of uh, African American models. Uh, One of the more violent ones too, right? Yeah, she's that. All right. Uh, 50 years old. Uh, now she just said the baby chose her. She posted on her Instagram there, the baby, she posted some feet. Now the baby looked really lighter than her. I don't know. <laughs> And babies are mostly. That's one way to put it. Babies are very light when they're born, but uh, depends. Uh, nobody knows if it's through surrogacy or adoption. Oh, uh, but she's a mom at fifty years old. 
Yeah, well. That's all picked up. Is she still holding? Oh, of course. She a model, man. They got, that's pretty they got good. the best of skin care. You know, the best workout program. Yeah. They don't eat, so they stay thin. Yep. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm, I doubt that she went through pregnancy. I don't think so, neither. No, nah, I don't see that. Now, if you holding at 50, I don't want you to ruin that body. I'm big on that. <laughs> yeah, 50, dog, you're at the end of the race. But I want to enjoy that body, though. Yeah, well. I don't want no boost. You know, hey, air, man, no. hey, hey, 50, shit happens. Oh, yeah. So, like you can't hold your piss. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> shit happens. So, you know, it ain't going to be pristine for long. Yeah, but hey, shout out to it. I hope I hope everything's well with that. Yeah, all right. Uh, Romeo and Bow Wow. I guess they recreated a beef or something like that. Uh, now this is for the versus thing. Now I believe that now, and, and I believe Bow Wow is a huge clown, but I have believed that Romeo has no business yeah. challenging Bow Wow in a verse. Yeah, Romeo got he doesn't have the discography. At all, not even stop playing. All he got is we know your daddy tough. Daddy. Yeah, exactly. That's it. That's it, dog. You are not tell if not you, did, if you know a Romeo song five five nine eight two five seven four today. That's five five nine eight two five shot. Nobody knows a Romeo song unless they live in New Orleans. But nobody knows a Romeo song. And uh, Bow Wow goofy and his corny has he been in his adult years. Yeah. Bow Wow had some hits and he ran one on six in part. He did that. He was Mr. 106 apart. Yeah, though. that is no lie. So you can't take that from him. as corny as he might be. And damn it, if he if he does bleed got through the hit camera. List, it ain't Drake. But god damn it, it's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. But uh Bow Wow, now this came up. Now Soldier Boy. Now I think that would be better. Drake. That would be a better versus. Yeah. I don't know, man. I don't know how many songs Soldier Boy had. Man, he, uh, cause after Superman at whole, I don't, no, I don't remember a whole a few, lot more. He got a few hits. I don't remember a whole lot more than that. Well, maybe another generation would. I just believe the Soldier Boy some, some surf swag song he had. Yeah, yeah. hop up out the bed, throw my swag on. Yeah, that one. And amongst other viral YouTube videos. Yeah, other than that, nah, I don't. You know who else wouldn't get a uh, iced tea? I know, huh? Nigga, you better get Soldier Boy's respect. Huh. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> no. Soldier Boy was the only nigga that went on the Breakfast Club, and Charlemagne was worried about somebody pulling out the Draco. No, sir. Hey, no, sir. Come on, man. Drake, <laughs> Aubrey. <laughs> no, man. Nobody was scared of <laughs> Superman at whole dog. Nobody was scared of that. Well, uh, it's still funny to me that people don't know he was talking about busting on the girl. Well, hey, I mean. You can make it whatever you want to after the fact. <laughs> I heard, matter of fact, I heard uh, uh, Keep the Bells Ring, Ring, Ding, Dong, Dr. Mm-hmm. Dre song. Uh huh. Heard that was about getting hit. Oh, really? I see you bobbing your head because <laughs> I can see it. <laughs> you can't see me. He said that at the end of the song. But that's, that's, they tried to explain it that way. I didn't catch that in that song. I know somebody wrote them lyrics because Dre was flowing like a son of a bitch on that song. Oh, yeah? Oh, man, them lyrics. Hey, that nigga was doing some shit. Yeah, he was. Like, There's no way you wrote that, Dre. Nah. That song was jamming. And then I heard this about it maybe six months ago. Maybe, uh, what's the name wrote it? What's, what's your brother's favorite rapper name? Uh, Il Ran. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is, the, the Royce. Or Royce was influenced by- Eminem. Jay-Z had writing credits on that. I don't know if Jay-Z wrote that one. This is on 2001, right? No, no. This was, on the, this was on the Friday soundtrack. Oh, you right. That's what I'm talking I about. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, no, this is somebody else. Okay. Speaking of Royce, though, I just listened to him in uh, Lupe's show today. They got a podcast? Yeah. Th- them two? Yeah. That would be dope. Now, I'm not a Royce fan, per se. Not a Royce, but well, I'm not a... Neither one of them. Yeah. I got you. I, but I do like uh, uh, Lupe's music better than I like Royce's, but yeah. Well, yeah, they they, they got a few shows out. I, I, I one can out see that being a banger right there. Yeah, and Royce said uh, he wrote Eight Mile. I can see that. I don't know if that was in that's just one of the night. songs I like. Yeah, of Eminem. Well, I'm talking about the movie. I can see that too. Yeah. Because Eminem is just a, a, a he he you he's know just a he, culture vulture. He's a culture vulture. 
He just a fake. He just sucking off the oh yeah the culture without of black a people. doubt, without a doubt. You know they always find just taking one. and run from it. He's the one that supplanted himself. I coined um, I coined the term culture. a long time ago called Eminem. Pink. No pink. No Eminem. No pink. No Eminem. Uh uh-uh. uh. Uh uh. When pink uh, didn't work. Eminem worked. No nigga. Pink worked. Man. Pink got played on the R&B stations for and, no time. And Eminem still soon getting, soon as she took off. She left that shit behind. Yeah, but she M- left that shit behind. Now M didn't go rock. He didn't do a kid kid rock. Kid Rock did that. Kid Rock pinked us. Yeah, yeah, kid Rock can do shit for me. I don't listen to that whack shit. I'm just saying. They came in all hip hop. I can see fakeness when and I went. I can see it. I can see the machine. Where he gets there yet? She's just not catching. She's back down under. <laughs> Crikey. <laughs> <laughs> she, got a, hey, she, she got a baby daddy off. She didn't do OnlyFans She might win something there Yeah For a minute yeah. And then There's only so many ways You can show your pussy Right Cause I mean You can turn it sideways You can shave it You can turn it straight up and down and Up, she up taking- down Up down Left right Left right <laughs> <laughs> All right, before yeah. I go down this Eminem rabbit hole, and I yeah, you's going there. Oh, you man. wanted you wanted to catch that role so bad. Though. I hate him. You ought to stop. Why? Because dog is played. We've been down that road, dog, many a time, many times, Tandy, not one. We might have some new listeners that don't know that I hate this motherfucker. Oh well, he's fake. He's fraud, and okay. he's still he's stolen from he's the culture. Corny, he's that a is rap. All that he ain't got bars. He got plenty of bars. He ain't got shit. He got Mars bars. He ain't got a motherfucking thing. Snicker bars. He he ain't the best rapper. We Hooker heard some, bars. We heard some real soulful gangster gutter shit. Some real soulful oxygen bars. Man, fuck. It. Why 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 J Cole won't sell like uh, Eminem or uh, Kendrick Lamar? Because they not white. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So that you take every white person that buys records out of hip hop. See, we down this rabbit hole, y'all. We just said he wasn't gonna do it. I'm just saying. He's still going. Take white people this out of This is like it. when you ask a question if, if, in an you, interview, you, but you ask a long ass question. Hey, take take <laughs> take the replay factor in his music of black people, and you won't get nothing. Five five nine eight two five seven four six eight five five nine eight two five shot. Uh, this is shooting him. Palms show. are sweaty. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Arms are heavy. Man, get the fuck out of here with that book. Mars spaghetti. <laughs> I just can't wait till the Ghost Riders are. <laughs> Billy Porter uh, tested positive for HIV 14 years ago. Billy Porter. And I wouldn't know who he was if I wasn't on YouTube looking at interviews and I saw him. I was like, oh, that's that guy. <laughs> 2007, he learned he was positive. He stars on the show Pose. Uh, he said he did not uh, put this out there because he didn't want to face the shame. And he didn't want to disappoint his mom. No, he also said that Hollywood was harsh and he wasn't going to be able to work putting that out there. That should have been number one. He could have been in one of them commercials that they have. You yeah. know, all of the commercials they have for, <laughs> for I HIV saw it. medicine be black got, people. Got that one black dude doing the spoken word. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stay in front of it. I remember when I bent over the first time and took it up my ass. Now I got <laughs> Come on, dog. They don't do that. <laughs> Stop it, man. All right. So. <laughs> I do. I, I did ask my friend this question. Oh, your, what friend? Keisha. Okay. And I was just like, okay. And I, if you. Shout out to J Mac. If you on, if you're watching porn. Uh-huh. Like you'll see like eight, not eight, but at the extreme, you have three dudes, and they'll be fucking one girl, mm-hmm. and they just rotating hoes. Triple threat. Yeah. And they'll either fuck, they all fucking the ass, and then they just go on about their business and do another scene. Mm-hmm. Why do men on men asshole fucking get HIV more than men fucking women in the asshole? That's a good question. I'm, I really don't understand. That's a good question. Because it's like, and, and, the, and going back to the foundation of black.com, it's, it was, it, it's based on popular porn that, that I saw when I would go to porn, hug, hey. whatever. And you see some. We ain't got a lot of time left, nigga. Okay. All right. How, how much you think? <laughs> About 15 minutes. Okay. 
All right, so my thing is like for having anal sex, man, the woman became popular, mm-hmm. but nobody's catching AIDS or HIV anyway. The, but the, when you do do these gay, it's always a gay man talking about. Uh, I, I'm HIV positive. So what are these niggas not? They don't clean their ass right. Hey, don't it make you question the whole thing? <sighs> okay, you just pose a valid question, and it would seem to me that it shouldn't matter, right? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to figure so out. So why not question it then? You think it's some shit that the man? Uh, I, I, me no say, me no say nada. <laughs> all, all I know is, dog, you see magic. Out yeah. here thriving. Yeah. You see, <laughs> you see, what's his name? Miss something Porter? Billy. Billy Porter out here thriving. He got some black.com. Hey. I'm just it's saying. It's a man. It's, <laughs> it is not, uh, apparently, there's there's some ways around this shit. It is not the boogeyman disease that the Rona is now. Mm-hmm. Because the Rona is the AIDS of Well, today. you're supposed to, this medicine can suppress it where you don't even show. Uh-huh. So it's my point, dog. It, it had to be some other shit. Damn, what else could you do? Me no say not on my frame. I just know that, dog. You, you, if you don't have at least Is it a, a question, a, a false positive. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't have at least a question, man, that's all I'm saying. And when, once I see shit going, he had it this long, and we ain't heard nothing. Yeah, we heard easy. He had it. He did. He died in like a year. Oh, well, I guess. Yeah. It happened quick. I mean, we need to add some SD cards to the... Uh, we got SD cards. This is just the one I put in there. I didn't expect us to do a two-hour show today. Who fault is that? Yearn. Okay. We doing it, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is the Shoot From His Show, 559-825-746. That's 559-825-SHOT. Some people say we offend. We just give thought-provoking shit. Uh... We gave you the phone number, shoot from here one at gmail.com is the email address. Shoot from here XYZ is the website. Uh, please go to that uh, if you want to donate. Uh, if not, apparently we need an Amazon registry. And I guess uh, we'll work on that. Like yeah. I said, PlayStation 5, Golf Club. Man, no. Okay. No, don't put that out there. We're not doing that. We're not doing that. Shout out to Jamie Mack again. You can find yeah, more of his uh, uh, audio isms on uh, the Rare Sonics Podcast Network. Uh, he does a no-nonsense show, and he has a smoke session, which is premium, which I and D Montour subscribe to. Yeah. So make sure uh, if y'all into some good audio excellence, make sure y'all go check that out. Put that everywhere. in your rotation, y'all. Yes, sir. What you got on tape? Oh, man, that's it, man. You said it all. Um, shoot from the hip dot XYZ with a beautiful donate button. And you see us doing bigger and better things because of y'all. And, and, and with y'all's help, we're going to get bigger than this. And that's all I got there, man. G for dinner today is Sunday. Me don't say again. I know some food over there at the Money Law's house. They always got something. Okay. So you ain't gonna eat. Oh, come on, man. I'm not eating my dog. Stop it, dog. All right, man. Hey, this is the Shoot for the Hip Show. Holler us on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. We'll holler at y'all next go round. It was everything I said it was gonna be plus a little extra Truck deuces out the roof, it's just something we do down in Texas We'll see you when we see you when we hope it's this episode And if you enjoyed the show, you can definitely let us know Just hit us up, 559-825-SHOT That's 559-825-7468 Or you can hit us up on an email if that's more your taste The shoot from the hip one at gmail.com And let us know your take Subscribe to the show on all platforms From Apple to Spotify or wherever else Shoot call us live and hit us on the web and shoot from the hip. That XYZ. Now let's not sleep, cause this not free. All support is greatly appreciated. Of course, we like the kind of bow, but if it jingled, then it's great. And if you got some love for us and some extra play duckets, then please don't forget to hit that beautiful donate button. I'm gone.